Now. Should be live now. Huzzah. Huzzah. Yeah. Ow. Should be. Ah, there oh. we go. Yep. There they <laughs> I like how I start with ow, not now. Just ow. Good. I've got you. Uh, I've got you what's it called? Um, muted. So I'm yeah. yeah. Talking anymore, unless you want to. No. Nah, no. Nah. Um. It's uh. It's all good. Um. So yeah, I think. Because I've shared screen with you, which is good. It doesn't seem to be lagging the stream, which is nice. That's genuinely a nice surprise, um, considering it was pretty bad this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pimp this this stream out a bit more. There we go. Hello, everyone. There we go. Just tweeted that, and I'll just put it in my Discord. Cause, gotta really, really gotta plug this. It's not, not all every day I get to speak to the legends that is mixed out. <laughs> there we go. And I'll retweet it on Twitter. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Well then, <clears throat> this is a uh, this is a beta for um, Ratchet and Clank 2, or at least pre-beta. Um, it's I can't actually see what the letters are at the very bottom. It uh, says preview. Uh, it says alpha preview. Disc. Ah, okay. I was gonna say like it's kind of hard to make out, but yes. So. So there we go. Uh, thank you for the follow. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be cool. Um, I'm I'm really looking forward to this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Beta stuff. I don't know how much is different and how much is. Uh, it probably not too much will be different, but yeah, we're gonna have fun with it. I've had a real nightmare. I guess I'll, I'll mention this a couple times probably throughout the stream for people who just arrived and whatnot. But I've had a nightmare setting this uh this up because. In between uh, the last time I used an emulator, or this emulator, and now, my computer has really just crashed and burned. Um, so, yeah, uh, unfortunately. Like it's lost legs. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's amazing my computer's lasted as long as it has. It's five years of intensive editing, recording, rendering, non stop for years on end five years, I think, so the fact that it's, you know, working as well as it is, it's not that bad. Um, but at the same my, time, you know... I was going to say, my, my video card blew out a few months ago, so I think I'm... I have my quota of computer faults. Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So, yeah, no, my, my computer's just been like, yeah, I, I don't want to run this emulator anymore, so I've I had, like, a version where it was just lagging non-stop, then I had a version where it was working fine, but there were a couple of texture issues. So, I've gone with the texture issue one, because I would like it to run a little bit better than, oh, I don't know, five frames. Um, but yes, so, so yeah, the, we're, we're, we'll just go with the texture issues. Oh man, thank, thank you for the bits. I want to be very clear, the texture issues are not my fault. No, no. Uh, and if they were someone on the team's fault, who would that be? <laughs> no, it's no one's. But let's let's go straight into it. Let's go straight into the game. What emulator are we using? Uh, PCSX2. Uh, also, thank you for like all the views out of nowhere. Like we've got loads of view viewers today. Oh yeah, what are we at now? We're at 33. Oh look at that! I've been regularly getting like 20 or so. So. It's pretty cool nice. to, to get that many so quickly, but thank you. Oh man, that, that good host noise. <laughs> Hello, Luminate Gamer. I just saw your bits donation. Alright. So, you were saying you didn't see anything new or changed in these uh, initial cuts? N n apart from the music being gone, and I think the text is a different font. So usually, uh, by this time, by the time we were releasing alpha previews like this, 
the game was almost done. Uh, the main differences would be in the later levels. So most of the beginning of the game is probably going to be solid. Um, yeah, probably just mostly the later levels are going to be the things that start getting different or weird. Right, okay. Impossible. We'll, we'll see if we can actually get to them. Um, I think, from what I understand, a lot of it is sort of like locked out. Um, so we'll see how much is actually available. But either way, I've, I know there are a couple of differences. Uh, not major, but they, they exist, so that's cool. And one of there, as far as we can tell, there isn't a debug manual on this one. No, apparently not. I don't know if there's a way to hack into a debug menu at all. There may be. Maybe someone in the chat will send us instructions. Oh, you're a bit quiet. I can raise you. Um, uh, give me a sec. Uh, there we go. I have raised you by 59%. <laughs> testing, testing. That, like should, that. that should be much better, hopefully. We will see. Hello, Time Lord, nineteen ninety-seven. Yeah, so you, you were saying that you know absolutely every line of dialogue that is in these cutscenes. <laughs> oh yeah, because uh, we, when we're testing this, we're not allowed to skip cutscenes because you have to make sure that the cutscenes are working. So, yeah, so I know most of these beginning cutscenes by heart. Yeah, that that sounds about right. Oh, also the ship isn't here. <laughs> because because Yeah, no, the ship isn't needed. We don't need to get anywhere. <laughs> We're flying. Well, there's the ship. What are you talking about? Well, uh, okay, it's there now. <laughs> uh, how did I pull this off? This uh is a beta that was uh given to a bunch of people. Uh the person who gave it to us is called Ratchet 13. Um, I do not know who got it from them. Okay, I'm getting lag now. To select all oh, weapons. Okay, give me a sec. Yeah, am I getting the texture glitches still? I don't see it. Am I getting texture glitches? I'm not getting texture glitches. Yes, I am? It looks no. like it's slowing me down. It's yeah, to I'm getting... Down. Oh, God, why? Okay, let me try and fix this quickly. I will see if I can change the plugin settings and get it working. Okay, let's go. Let's go with that. Let's see if that works. No, that's way worse. Okay, <laughs> that, that did not work at all. Oh boy, this is uh, this is what happens when everything starts to die. Good. Okay, is that better? Yes, that's a little bit better. It's so it. Okay, we got texture glitches, but it's running at proper speed. Okay, cool. So yeah, you, things will look a little bit dotty here and there. Um, it looks like when it's breaking frame, it slows down, and it's probably breaking frame a lot. But oh well, at least it's you know it, it could be worse. Uh, so we're gonna see our first like major difference uh, if the texture actually loaded, and here it is: the Mega Corp boxes are orange. Oh, I don't even remember that. So I like that. yeah, I really like them in orange. Actually, I know a lot of people don't really. Oh, and so are the ammo. Uh, it seems as well. I know a lot of people didn't like the uh, the orange HUD in free and compared to the blue in this. God, this is lagging badly as well. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could could fix that. I really can't. Um, Nothing you can do, huh? But um, yeah, no, I I really like the orange for it. It looks really. It looks almost like it's rusted a little bit. It's kind of neat. I think the I think they probably changed it because it doesn't look different enough from the regular crate that you could see it at a distance, you know? Mm. Oh, actually, yeah, the pause menus are different. They've got, like, the lines intersecting. Uh, yeah, that, that looks pretty busy. I can see why they may have gotten rid of that. I quite like it, to be honest. But yeah? I, I'm, yeah, I, I was just like, oh, that's kind of neat. I, I, I like things that join up together. Wow, that is... So the textures are awful and <laughs> it's lagging as well. That I mm, mm. who knows anything about emulation that can fix this? I'm so sorry. I really wish I could make it look better. But wait, now I'm getting. No, no, I'm not getting both. Okay, so yeah, we're going with extreme lag. Screw it. I'll see it, if I can fix it on my computer. Cause I just, I I don't know. I just don't. Better use a PS2. That, well, yeah, that would do it. <laughs> a PS2 would fix it. Oh, boy. 
I, I, it's been, I don't know how long it's been since I've actually used an emulator. God, it's so slow. Um, I, I, the last time I think I used a PS2 emulator was probably, uh, I want to say like eight months. And yeah, in those eight months, my computer has just gone downhill. But, oh well, this is, this is, this is how we will suffer. I'm glad, I, I like that I'm getting follows and bits for so much lag and nothing else. God, even the cutscenes are lagging. That's shameful. Oh, yeah, but... that's an in-game cutscene, so it'll be gone. Oh, no. No! <laughs> no! I'm so yeah, I sorry. Uh, I'm playing it on my machine, and it looks fine. Yeah, that's because your computer's probably fine. What have I done wrong? Like, it's got to be like a plug-in bio thing. Transfluxer! The thing is, I know absolutely nothing about plugins. Like, I don't know what GS means. I don't know what Spoo 2 means. Like, <laughs> these mean nothing to me. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so sorry. I, I like that it's just really slow, though. It's okay, kind of so funny. What, what do you have in your speed hacks menu? Um, speed hacks. Let's go. Yes, I know where it is. Uh, it's at zero for both. Okay, so but what do you have checked? Um, enable NTC, enable weight loop, and MVU flag hack. Is the the one at the top enable speed check hacks? Is that on or off? Enable speed hacks, yes, but I can't really access it. It's just sort of like there. Oh, it's. Oh, okay. It's it's like faded away, so I can't really touch it. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's different. The, um, the thief said out at the end of his, uh, cuts, or his or her cutscene, but the, yeah, the thief said out, like, as in, like, thief out or whatever. That's oh, okay. interesting. That's new. They never said that in the original, or the final version, I should say. So, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, the giggle laugh wasn't there. That's disappointing. You're right. So I've only got three speed hacks on mine. Um, so what what are yours things to set up to? Is uh, yours? I have un under other hacks. I have enable INTC spin detection. Enable uh -huh. move detection. Okay. Yeah. And then on the right under micro VU hacks, I have MVU flag hat. Those yeah. Three. Yeah, that's what I have. Do you have um on the bars? Do you have them on anything, or is it just zero okay. for you? Let's see. The EE cycle rate is at one, like at the way left. And oh okay. Stealing is at zero at the on... left. Oh, I can't I even have... alter it. I have enable speed hacks. That that checkbox at the top is checked. Yeah, it won't even let me alter it. Actually, interestingly enough, I don't know why that is. Huh? Maybe someone in the chat will know. When was the last time I de-dusted my computer's in it? Uh, actually, quite recently because the fans were dying. Uh, so I I did that a, like two months ago, and I now like brush my like I, wa I wipe down my computer each day it's just it's an old computer and now now it's old at least it, this is this class is old it's sad oh okay I was gonna say there's like no way to go um but but yeah you have to pre preset selected and I have preset selected in the bottom left wait what Bottom left. Oh, so I do. So right you are. Okay, so you want it on one, you say. Okay, we'll do that then. We'll set it to one, see if that makes a difference. That's why they're disabled, so you might be able to re-enable the speed hacks It's... Now. yes. It's, uh... It's not really made it any faster, I don't think. But then again, I could increase it to two and see if magic happens. I could also see if there's, uh, like a thing to... Um, oh, that made it a little bit faster, setting it to two. Oh, that did actually. Oh, well, if I go to three! <laughs> uh, no, three didn't really do anything, I don't think. What are you changing in this one? Uh, EE cycle rate. May noticeably increase in game FPS. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Um, is there a way to skip frames or something? Yes. Turbo mode, constant skipping. Let's go with that, see what happens. 
Yeah, it's noticeably skipping. No, let's not do that. Um, try preset three. Um, we'll do. Uh, that's in time balanced. The game in the Sly series, oh, interesting. Yeah, that is a little bit faster. Let's see if I go. What happens if I go to four? Aggressive. Uh, four's a little bit better actually. Yeah. Getting almost playable. Yeah, four is four is improving it. You're all legends, by the way. Under, I hope you realize that. Under under GS, do you have frame limiting enabled? Um, I no, it's uh, it's just I've not got anything ticked on there. What about frame skipping? No, uh, it's just disabled. Okay. It's, I don't know. If anything Let's see if I can aggressive it's plus. Plugin settings. Oh, advanced oh, that that's better. Three. That's slightly better. I'll deal with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll live with this. This is fine. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I can live with this. It, it's as good as we'll get. <laughs> but anyway, okay. f f thank you everyone for being patient and understanding and for following or whatever. I currently, outside of this, I'm currently streaming the uh, the Jack games on PS4 because they were released. And that's uh, a lot of fun. And that won't this lag, least, so... <laughs> this is at least a good demonstration of why you need a new computer. Yeah, yes it is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, very good demonstration of why I need one. It's, I, I'm not making up random bullshit. It's, it's really happening. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time coming. And I, I look forward to the day where I have to spend £1,500. It's going to be a good time. But the plus side, it is going to be a good computer when I get a, a new one, so, you know, streaming. And it'll be Windows 10 then, because I'm still on Windows 7 for this thing. For better or worse, I don't know. I've heard good and bad things about Windows 10, so I don't really know. But um, Windows 10, so the problem about Windows 10, it, uh, it'll just, it, it's like the PS4. It just updates, and it doesn't care whether you want it to. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, so, like, one day it'll be like, uh, you'll, you'll turn your computer on because you want to get some work done, and they'll be like, "Sorry, you don't get to work for four hours because I'm going to be downloading shit." Uh, and that's not fun. Microsoft. Yeah, that's not fun. Uh, so I, I tend to use my Mac more the because they're not doing that. Oh, interesting. The cutscene at the end of that uh, world was gone with the uh, two robots. Huh. Also, yeah, that oh, planet is super close to the ship. Holy hell. <laughs> you mean the, when the robots are intimidating the guy on Uzla? Uh, no, I mean the um, the two uh, enemy robots. They, like, knock one... One knocks each other off the, the ship. Oh, right. Chasing yeah. Ratchet. That's just not there. Oh, the, the custom of the two robots is there. Oh, interesting. I wonder what I skipped then. Some of the textures in this room aren't as, like, finalized as in the f the ending. Or at least, like, on one perspective of it. No, this is preset 5. <laughs> I went full force with the preset. Jeez. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Uzla, I love this world. I could probably, I could probably make the uh, the audio a tiny bit louder in the game. I'm I'm loving drunk sounding like help desk girl. It's pretty good. So uh, so yes, what what was your favorite like moment developing this game? Is there anything in particular where you're just like, oh, that was amazing. I loved working on that. Um. Let's see. So there's a there's a level later in the game where all the proto pets are attacking like a robot neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Demozel. I know that because you made my life a living hell in the ranch only run. Yeah. So the <laughs> Demozel, uh, we didn't have the planet names till way way after. So I, I it's always hard for me to remember the names. Fair of the enough. Planets. Uh, yeah. But so that planet was when I felt like. Uh, I had sort of gotten my head around how to design Ratchet. Like, all okay. the stuff I had done up to that point was always just a little bit short. Uh, like, and when you watch when you watch the uh, developer commentary, you can kind of see me cringing at everything until we get to that level. Right, yeah. 
It's been but a really long time since I've watched those. Probably the thing I'm most proud of, though, is uh, the museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. That was you. It was all you. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's in this build. Because it might be different. I have no idea. If we... Well, I mean, if we can find a way to get to that point in the game, then... Then, uh... We might be able to. We can try. Yeah, let's see. How, how would you have gotten to it by this point? Probably uh, skill points would be there. Yeah, uh, skill, skill points would be too difficult. It would probably be the way in through uh, Boldon, Silver City. Yeah. Probably. From, uh, cheating through the uh, grind rail, probably. Museum isn't in the build. Oh, really? Apparently not. Like, it... So, like, would there be a way of... Like, did you have, like, different ways of getting into the... The menu... Besides, like, the up, down, up, down, left, right thing. Yeah, there were a ton of different codes we used in different ways. But if this was a preview build, like, if this was for um, for sending to uh, magazines and stuff, then there wouldn't have been. Ah, okay. Uh, and it probably wouldn't have had all the levels yet. Oh. Uh, but if this is alpha, all the levels wouldn't have even been done yet. Small question. The, uh, the boss of this area just grabbed the, um... The uh, like professor guy who makes the tractor beam, he just took him off here. Has that was that in the final game? Because I have literally never seen that before. Uh, it, it, those things were always in the game. They might be in places, but because I've because I've saw the I've seen the other ones. I thought it just ended with him being eaten by the little like slug type monsters. I've never seen that one. It wasn't in the final. Yeah, I thought that was new. Interesting, huh? That's that's a tiny little cutscene, but it was removed for some reason. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Huzzah. Not in that spot. Yeah. I thought so. Huh. I was going to say, if it, if it was there, I have literally never seen it. So I'm either really unlucky or really unobservant. One of the two. <laughs> huh. Like, probably both. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a very unobservant fellow. The uh, go back to the to the. Mm. Oh, electro soul! Hey, hey, it's been a while. How you doing? Yeah, going back to the museum. Like I, I mean, I think everyone watching this right now absolutely adores uh, the museum and what you started because obviously it was implemented in uh, Ratchet Free as well and uh, later Kraken Time and um, also uh, the newest Ratchet. Um, so I mean, I it's 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 apparently it's hard to hear me. Is it so really? It's just... Apparently, that's what they're saying. Am I am I hard to hear? You shouldn't be. Speak for a second. Okay, I'm speaking for a second. Interesting. Still speaking. Yeah. Okay. Let me raise you up. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, this. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. All my Discord uh, sound sections are at maximum. The best okay. I can do is, I think. Maybe I just need to speak up. No, I can re raise that. That might be better. Um, okay, how about this, guys? Is this better? I'm hoping what I've just done has made it better, and obviously, combined with what you've done, uh, that might make it mu much better. Well, we will see. Okay, well, we'll give it a shot. Um, Sorry, what were you saying before you were so rudely interrupted? Uh. I don't know, I was just gonna say, like the obviously you started the museum uh, and everyone loves it. Um, just well, firstly, thank you, because <laughs> it's that was the first time I really ever heard about development in games in general. Because I, I, mean, I was just a kid when I first. I'm doing really badly at this boss. I was just a kid when I first played Ratchet, so I I didn't know that a whole team of people work like I saw credits but I didn't know what they meant like <laughs> just like oh yeah people did things like they they made it work they made me ha happier like but just you know what what you started is just a fantastic thing and a great eye opener and I I w it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if it actually inspired some people to be like oh yeah I want to be a developer now uh, based on just hearing about what what you like what you and the rest of your team did um, well, I hope so. I mean, like, I, I remember when I started, I was so shocked at how much stuff just gets cut and you never find out about. Mm. And so I was racking my brains for, like, how can we actually use this stuff? And then I, I uh, one, of, one of my bucket list things for being a game designer was to put a secret level in a game. So I thought maybe I could kill two birds with one stone and do, like, a behind-the-scenes level. 
Mm. Uh, and so I, I went to Ted and I said, can I, you know, can I have permission to do this in my spare time? And he said, yes, only if it's your spare time, though. You have to do all the rest of your work first. And so I opened up donations. I said, the Insomniac Museum is accepting donations. And I sent out an email to everybody. And everybody sent me all the stuff they worked on that got cut from the first two games. Oh, and fantastic. So I made a level that was shaped sort of like our offices and then placed things in the level so that you could play with them. And people got kind of excited about it. And then uh, it was originally, it was supposed to be just a hidden level and find it by, uh, you know, waiting until three in the morning or whatever and finding it in Metropolis. And then um, at, uh, I, there was a press thing, probably right about at this point in the game when we would have been showing this to the press. And uh, as a, sort of like an unscripted thing, they showed them the Insomniac Museum. And apparently that got so much good press that they're like, okay, we're going to make this an official feature. Oh, that's awesome. So I got an artist to make art for it, you know, so it wasn't just all gray boxes. Yeah. Which is my original level. Uh, you know, and they put it in, the, you know, as the ultimate bonus for getting 100% in the game. And that was kind of cool. Mm. That is awesome. It got, it got nominated for an award. Oh, really? Uh, but I lost the award to Snoop Dogg. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> to, it was nominated at the Gforia Awards one year. And okay. The one who won was the Snoop Dogg skin from True Crime. Oh, was, okay. That's yeah. bulls. But okay, it sure. It was unfortunate. I, you know, I was also up against Geometry Wars, and I think Geometry Wars probably should have won. Ah, no, uh, you, you made something pretty spectacular. Yeah. So you know, it, it, it's good company, right? If I had to lose. At least I lost to some good stuff like Snoop Dogg. Mm. I, I suspect he won because they could have a celebrity come accept the award. Yeah, possibly. That was the ki kind of award show it was. They did a... Uh, so uh, all of the developers who were there were in the back, in the dark area where you couldn't see us. And then all the people that you could see on camera were actors. Like they were... Uh, it was a casted audience, right? So the audience would do whatever they told them to. They'd go crazy whenever they were supposed to go crazy and... And so they did this one sketch where they brought someone out dressed like Steve Urkel and said he was a developer and then had the audience throw things at him. It was okay. It was really, they, they didn't televise that, but uh, we, they had a whole bunch of pissed off developers in the dark areas. Huh. Uh, something that's interesting about this area, uh, the platforms that I've been uh, hitting with the Dynamo are actually different. The ones that I just hit along this corridor, I think... There isn't anything, and they're just like an invisible grey, uh, not grey, green, um, like see-through platform kind of thing. And the ones that raise up and down, they just look cooler in this version. I don't know what about them is different exactly, but they look really rad in this, and I don't know why they're different. Or why they were changed to be different. Maybe consistency? Uh, no. I have no idea what the, I can't even tell what the difference is. I can't remember what the original looks like, it's just not the same, I know that much. There's un oh, is this the area with un unheard music? Because, yeah, the uh, music here is different uh, from the original. But interesting. That's not that, that's not that much of a surprise, yes. That, that would happen in levels sometimes. Uh, most of the time, the level the song would just get used in another level, but not always. Uh, out of curiosity for people who've played this, is there any like known crashes in the game that I should know about so I can make a save state or something beforehand? I don't know. Uh, does anyone in the chat know if there are crashes that Teal should make a save state for? So the problem is, is these builds, uh, like we made hundreds and hundreds of builds, so I can't remember anything about you know, specific disc. Mm. Uh, yeah, and you, you said for, uh, in a previous recording we did that all of them are kept in an archive somewhere. Or at least a lot uh, of them. The milestones are. So, yeah. You know, like the one that was finally accepted is Alpha. The one that was finally accepted is Beta. Supposedly, there were backups of all of that. And then um, we had tape backups of, of the project that were taken once a week and stored somewhere. But those could have been in unworking condition. And I wouldn't expect them to actually keep those around long term. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Like the, the, the code base for the final game is still around somewhere. Uh, and then probably the milestone build discs are stored somewhere. 
Okay. Uh, they probably also have it on, um, not just on disk, but an actual build file of it somewhere. Yeah, the this uh, this platform here. I'll uh, I'll let it lower and raise again. It just looks really cool. I really like how it looks in this game, in this version. It's really nice. It's just I think it's the blue in the middle. It just looks rad. Don't know why it's not there in the final. That might be the only difference. It might just be that blue. <laughs> but, um, Which blue? The just the blue line in the middle of the platform. It was just really cool looking. I thought. But uh. Yeah. See, I can't tell the difference because I've seen all this before. Yeah, I suppose. Makes sense. So I, to me, it just looks like, oh yeah, I remember it looking like because it did. You probably looked like that for a long time, and then at the last minute, it got changed to. Yeah, possibly. What you're used to, but uh, like that stuff happened a lot. Hmm. Oh, hey, my weapon upgraded. Nice. Heavy lancer, baby. The platforms are green. Yeah, it was green. Yeah, so I guess it's just a consistency thing, maybe. Because they might have been green in later levels, and then you're just like, oh, we should make it out for all of the levels. But no, I, I like how they look in this, actually. This is quite nice. Apparently in the final, all the platforms were green. So they, they probably had the same texture. They were just flickering. Mm, possibly. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, possibly that. That That's a good point. That That's probably true, because the... The ones in the corridor where they sort of like come from the side of the wall onto the, to, so you can jump across. They, it's the same exact shape. It's just it's more color to it and it's not green. Yeah. But, Basically, uh, you take the you take the alpha channel, like you turn you you turn that up so that it gets more invisible and you lurk, you know. Yeah, just make it in a safe sine wave over time, or randomly. Oh. Yeah, people were telling me that the uh, the jamming array is going to crash, so I've just made a safe state now, just apparently, to... Apparently there's a workaround. Yes, I saw. I will give it my all, see what happens. Press R3 when the cutscene starts and bring up the view of the map. Yeah. I'll give it a go, see what happens. Hopefully it'll fix it. Because what does the jamming array unlock again? Is that Metropolis? Is that Metropolis or, I mean, Metropolis or Barlow? It's one of the two. I can't remember the one. I think the the one you get from beating the arena is Barlow. Right. Okay. So it's okay. So it's Metropolis. Okay. Well, we can. Landing array is Maktar. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Someone All right, asked then. me at what point the platinum weapons were removed. What? What platinum weapon? I have no idea. I have not heard about the platinum weapons. Uh, I'd like to apologize again for the lack. <laughs> Cuz I in an ideal world, it would not be lagging. I spent like two hours trying to stop it lagging before this, but to, to no avail, unfortunately. This is why you need a new computer. Yes, yes it is. I will get one eventually, in the new year, when I have money. I like money. I will, I will, I will get the money. I will find a way. I've already got two jobs, so <laughs> I will get that computer. <laughs> So I'm I'm intrigued. What oh, okay. games? Oh, sorry, go. On. You go first. first. Said there's text in the game that refers to platinum weapons. So oh, really? Mega weapons were must have originally been called platinum weapon. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, that, I guess that makes sense because gold weapons in the first game and uh, the uh, the platinum bolts in this game, so probably the same. Yeah, we wouldn't have even decided what would happen with platinum bolts until after Alpha. So. People may have just been assuming it would be like it was in the first game, but nobody had done a design for it by the time this game, this this build was released. Huh? Th there's two of this guy here. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> 
<laughs> so the one, be, the one, the one in front is the movie. The yeah. Movie, the one in back is the one who's standing there in the level. He just hasn't disappeared. Yeah. Interestingly, the audio has sort of desynced from the visuals. I wonder what that is. Huh. It's an alpha build, man. Well, it's I mean, sure. Somebody, somebody asked, uh, what's it like to be a game developer? Are, are there prerequisites that are needed to become a game developer? Um, so making games is cool, and it's hard. Uh, <laughs> Like, that, those are probably the two best adjectives to describe making games. Uh, Prerequisite-wise, um, I mean, it depends on what job you're looking for. Uh, there, I, I'm a designer, uh, and there's still a, a design, the design career path beginning is still kind of difficult to describe. Uh, like, if you go to school for design, they, te they just teach you everything, because there isn't really a curriculum for design. Uh, but if you want to be an artist, you know, then you have to you have to know about uh, 2D, 3D, uh, know a little bit about animation, you know, that sort of thing. Or an environment artist have a good portfolio of pieces. If you want to be a programmer, uh, a lot of them require a college degree or equivalent personal experience. So, like, if you're a self-taught programmer and you can do a lot of stuff, then they'll give you a test. Uh, there's producers. They're about scheduling and management and stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff too, uh, like QA testers, which is how I got started. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, does anyone have more specific questions about that? Still there too. Yeah. So I was into. Oh, interesting. Clank's just sitting down there, even though we just saw him get kidnapped. Uh, Where is he sitting? He's just sitting down next to the no, ship. No, oh no, no. He's wait. He's jumping into the ship. Never mind. Sorry. Okay. But you're not there. I I, I just got to hear him go Eah! by getting grabbed. It was pretty good. Uh, will I ever do any more countdown? Oh, the countdown videos were great. They were fantastic. I just see the control sub menu. Um, I can do that after, yeah, sure. I'll check that out. Um, Control sub menu, alright. Um, yeah, um. Somebody asked me what the hardest thing to work on Ratchet 2 was. Um, man, I don't know. Ratchet 2 is hard. Uh, what's the hardest thing? The electrolyzer was pretty hard. Um, oh yeah, that was you. Yeah. There uh, was a couple a couple levels I I did that I had no time on that were like there were other people's levels, but I had to take care of them. Uh, so those were pretty hard. Um, the hardest thing, I don't know. Oh no, yeah, I know what it was. I was in charge of frame rate and localization on this game. Those were the hardest things. So frame rate means, and any time it breaks frame, someone sends me a bug, and I have to figure out how to fix it. And how and do you make sure it goes back into the normal frame, like frame rate? Like how do you we, fix that? Just get rid of we have something. A bunch of, we have a bunch of tools in the debug menu that tells what's making it go out of frame. So right. then I find out what's making it go out of frame, and then I write a new bug and send it to the person who's responsible for fixing that. And I'm like, oh, you know, this thing's making it go out of frame. Fix that. Okay. So, uh, so so usually I'd get one bug and then I'd send ten bugs out because there were ten things that were causing it. Right. And is it yeah. is it something like that's just too much on screen or usually like, something like that? Or it could yeah. also be too many things running at the so like uh, you know like when you're at the beginning of a level and there's enemies in the entire level in front of you. Yeah. Uh, if if you can't see an enemy, we don't want them to be thinking at all. We don't want them to be checking for the player. We don't want Right, I see. More, more idle animations, right? So, uh, we had special stuff that I would set up that would make it so that you'd have to be inside of an area for enemies to appear at all. So I would right. do that all over the place, or, or sometimes it would just be like, all right, you gotta, you gotta remove two enemies <laughs> from that setup because there's just, it's too much. And this uh, is literally what I was talking about earlier in a, in a stream earlier today. Like, the thing I love about talking to you is you, like you're. You 
you've been at this for a while and you're so in tune to the industry so you know like you can to a, at least if you're not necessarily exactly sure you can at least explain what it could be and like but you explain things so eloquently in a way where I'm just fascinated and want to learn more about it Whereas like some someone could tell me something about like, okay yeah that's kind of interesting I don't really care but you just make it sound like fun to listen to and it's it, it's a gift that not many people manage to succeed at uh, like I'm failing right now to, <laughs> like I'm failing to to, you know, to praise you. There, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I keep looking at the wrong. I keep looking at the delayed screen, not the. All oh, right, yeah. You gotta fix that. So I think the uh, the the lag is getting worse, but I also think the um, slot machines have a different color to them. Uh, oh, yeah. In the slot machine section itself, wow, that lag is is tasty. That is some super tasty lag. Um, yeah, I think I don't know exactly what the color difference is, but but yes, there there is something different for sure. Let me take a look at them uh, when Top we get there. Oh, I'll get there in a second. Are there still uh, are there still ammo containers for every type of ammo? Or has it gone to the um, you know what? I haven't really tried, and I've got full ammo now, so I can't test. Um, I can certainly use some up and see if we get something different. Um, yeah, I think it's just, like, the, uh, the, it's saying chop up, but it's, yeah, I think it's just the general, like, uh, cylinder kind of thing. Yeah, this, it's, I think it's the gold around the outside yeah. of it. I think it was blue yeah. in the final version, maybe? Yeah, that... That uh, these things were made later, so, okay. Uh, like, oh, sorry, the the stuff that that works on the machine was added after the machine was, so they had to change the machine color to make it look right with those uh, dials. Oh, okay. Uh, someone I gotcha. asked me if I think making games now is different from making games back then. Uh, in terms of methodology, it's not that much different. Uh, like the main, there were there were a few things that were different just because it was, you know, early days. Mm. Like um, this was before Grand Theft Auto's hot coffee uh, controversy, so people could hide whatever they wanted. And nowadays, you have to ask permission and stuff. Uh, you know, so there's a few little things like that. But the you know, if you're using uh, Unreal or or Unity or whatever, it's a lot easier now. It's back. Because working with custom tech is hard. I, I was I wanted to ask, uh, what like have you been playing any uh, newer games this the year? The red. Look, the ammo's red. Yeah, yeah, it's the same with um, the boxes. I think it's blue in the final version. Okay. Right. What were you What were you just saying? Yeah, I was wondering uh, uh, what new games that came out this year have, have you played, if if many at all. Um, um, I'm still trying to get caught up. Like I just finished playing Witcher Three. Oh right, nice. Uh, and I just started playing Overwatch. So oh okay. I I still haven't played that because at, at the time when it came out, my internet was god awful, so I had no way of really playing an online game. Um, I could rectify it now. I probably should at some point. I've heard really good things about it. I played. Um, Mario Odyssey, which I like. Oh, Mario Odyssey is fantastic. You know, I've never liked a 3D Mario game before, ever. Oh, really? This, this is the first one that I thought was really good. Oh, wow. That's yeah. surprising. I'm, so. I'm, I expected maybe you'd even like Galaxy a little, but then again, Galaxy's the, yeah. the one game that, you know, Miyamoto definitely didn't copy you or anything. So. Never, he, they asked him about it. He yeah, said, I know. He's like, Ratchet and who? <laughs> <laughs> He didn't have any idea. Um, no, but like, uh, I, I didn't like Galaxy either, uh, but I love Odyssey. Mm. So, yeah, gonna be slanderous. You don't like Mario 64, that really yeah. nostalgia based game, that one? Well, there's a, well, there's a reason for it. I, I didn't play it until uh, after I had a PS2. Yeah. So, so by, the, by that time, it, it was really dated. Yeah. No, I, I like. Um, 64 as, as like what it did for the industry, but I really hate its camera. I like how I'm getting shot in this cutscene. I like how I can move in this cutscene as well. 
Um, oh, yeah, so I, the, I, so I. The workaround for the the crash is after you complete the jamming array, press start immediately when the cutscene starts. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. I will give that my. I'll make a save state beforehand just to guarantee it. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I, I just, I, I never really got into it, personally. Have you, oh man, this will be an interesting question, but it'll get me more hate. Uh, have you played Zelda Breath of the Wild? Yes. And what did you think? <laughs> uh, the, so the first three or four hours of it was really hard. Uh, and I, I, I was not a big fan. And then after that, it was really good. Interesting. I found that I was really engaged for the first, like, two, three hours, and then I had nothing but hate for the durability of, of the entire game. The durability thing sucks, and they probably shouldn't have done that. But, I mean, even besides that, uh, it's just like, you, ha you, only have, you can only get hit three times, basically, yes. at the beginning of the game. And then I, I find that just I find that still the case to be honest a, a lot of places you go depending on like what you do and who you face uh, but you're just so much more durable yeah you know, I guess like, so like I was you know uh, when they're trying to teach you about lightning for example you don't have enough hearts to survive getting hit by a lightning blast yeah you know like there's just things like that that I was it just felt really like I was getting killed and it wasn't my fault over and over and over again. Yeah. And about, yeah. After I after I had about like ten hearts or so, I started to feel like when I died it was my fault and then the game got a lot of fun for me. And you're saying you did that in three hours? <laughs> Cause that did right. not happen for me. I got ten I hearts in like twenty hours. <laughs> it took me three hours to get outside that first central area. Oh, okay, right. I was gonna say. That that was about when I not when I had 10 hearts. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. That was about when it started feeling like I would die sometimes and... Yeah, yeah. Fault, as opposed to it always just being random. I I still I still feel like the game was just really unnecessarily, like... It, it just tries to, like, prove a point by... Oh, this is gonna sound weird, like... I, there were games like Skyrim and Witcher where you, like, you wander around and there's... It takes a while to get somewhere, but you find something and it's great. Whereas Zelda, I just found that I was aimlessly wandering without reward. I just didn't feel satisfied. Also, the motion controls are the worst I've ever played in any game. Oh, I, what version did you play? What, of Zelda? Yeah, did you play it on the Switch or the... As the Switch, yeah. Okay. It, yeah, I, I use the motion controls. I there, there's a there's one that you have to. There's a like um, there's a uh, a trial that requires it, uh, and it's basically like a maze. You have to navigate oh, a, a ball up. It's the that worst motion sucked. controls in any. I've played Ninja yeah. Bread Man. It's worse than that. Those <laughs> were bad. Those were really bad. Like I don't. I, I oh, I'm gonna get into a rant. I don't understand how it won Game of the Year. It's not I perfect. <laughs> Like, no, it's not perfect. But most games of the year aren't perfect. No, but like but the, everything else was better than it. <laughs> I just I miss that. Um, like when you play a Zelda game, they have this really clean dungeon design where the puzzles are like just this really well designed uh, ramp from the beginning to the end where everything it just feels really tight, right? And in in Breath of the Wild, they were all like physics puzzles. Yeah. Uh, and it would be like one puzzle per dungeon area. It, like, it didn't have that that really clean design feeling that I like about the other games. But it's not like I hated it. It just, I missed it. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. No, I agree. It was, like, it's it's got really good parts to it, and I really like those parts. But the things that I hate about it, I just really hate. And it's really annoying, because it's just... It's tainting an otherwise incredible game, and I don't want it to, but it, it just fills me with such rage. Like, the, it's interesting, like, because people, like, have, like, in the past at least, have been, like, slating anyone who complains about the game, like, to any capacity, and the, uh, the durability thing, I don't understand how more people aren't, like, sort of, like, being like, oh yeah, I still see what you mean, because... Paper Mario Sticker Star and, by extension, Color Splash are games that are notoriously hated for how your paint or your stickers or your cards or whatever just go away after you use them. And it's it's a turn-based 
combat game with cards which just go away constantly, and you will run out very easily. And this is exactly what the same. Uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star. Like, people despise it for how it's basically the same. But, like, in principle, it's exactly the same. And I don't understand how people justify one and not the other. That's, that's my gripe, I think, with, like, people backing up Breath of the Wild. Like, there's... You can't have a rule for one and not for another. Hmm. In my mind, at least. Call me a bad reviewer, I don't care. I maintain that I'm right in saying that. What, what rule? Is like, well, just durability. Like, people... Some people in one game say that durability is totally fine when it's very much not, because it just makes the experience really unnecessarily annoying. And then, like, with Sticker Star, everyone's like, oh no, it's super annoying. So with, with uh, so durability as a mechanic, it can work. It can. Um, it has to be done very carefully because um, people don't respond as well to negative reinforcement as they do to uh, rewards. Uh, so you have to design your whole game around that you're going to be losing things and, and make sure you have enough uh, other reinforcers that people want to do it. Like, it's just, it's hard to do, right? So I can see how some people might like it less in one game than another. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so hard to do, I would argue that unless you have a really specific reason, just don't do it. Yeah. But, like, if there's, some, if there's a way you're trying to make the player feel, for example... You know, like trying to make them feel like. Let's say you're playing Resident Evil, right? And uh, and there's breakability in the weapons. That creates a different feeling than if you're playing Call of Duty and your weapons can break, right? One feels bad and one feels good. Yeah. Like in Call of Duty, it would feel bad because it's a different. It's trying to evoke a different response from the player. Right. Than that. Yeah. So it's not it's not a thing that makes people feel good. And if you're making a game where you're good, you that unless you're very careful does that make sense yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're saying just trying to take down chain blade I still find it amusing for uh, the wrench man come on yeah no, no I, I find it amusing the game was like oh man you've got to do this really difficult challenge it's the hardest challenge of the arena beat chain blade with the wrench without getting hit oh no or no it was beat chain blade without getting hit or something I was like oh no I did that already but with a wrench oh no <laughs> that's real hard I mean <laughs> I, have, I have to imagine after going through the game with just the wrench it's it must feel luxurious to be able to use it is lovely yes a crack in time, man. That was awful. I hated playing that game with the wrench. Was I, I the, was that definitely the worst wrench only ratchet so far. Uh, no, that honor still goes to I think the PS4 ratchet. Cause oh yeah, you need to understand. Oh, interesting. This isn't doing any damage to it. Oh wait, no, now it is. Do the legs not take damage in this version? He might not have taken damage until he gets into this phase. Wouldn't Interesting. Be yeah, the, be the if something like that was different. The, yeah, the legs took damage in the original. Um, yeah, no, uh, the six hour and the fairies like fight. You call it the original one. This is the early version. Well, yeah, okay, the one I know, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, the the six hour and the fairies fight. That that is the worst. That is the no, absolute no, worst thing. Okay. I I, I it. yeah. Have you? Have you seen, um, there's a, uh, uh, oh, what, what game was that? Uh, there's a documentary about this old school arcade game that's like the biggest endurance game, uh, period. Okay. Like it's, it's more of an endurance game than, uh, uh, what you were talking about. Like people, it, it takes something like 72 hours to beat the world record that you stay up straight playing this game. And you have to like get a whole bunch of extra lives so that you can go to the bathroom while you're dying. Huh. Uh, oh, it was it was that Nibbler, I think, sounds was awful. <laughs> well, uh, I think the uh, the rest of these challenges will be pretty sim similar, so I'll uh, I'll just skip them for now. Um, oh, actually, we might be getting to one of the differences soon. Uh, at the end of yes, this. Yes. Okay. So the documentary is called Man vs. Snake, and it's about the Nibbler World Championship, and it is. Uh, it's basically just an endurance game. There's, there's, 
the game, learning the game itself and not dying, is, it's not doing it for 44 hours straight. Oh, boy. I, so I saw that, and it made me think of you for some reason. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that sounds like something ridiculously stupid I would do. I, I recently did a uh, Toy Story Racer speedrun, which, if you don't know that game, it is basically 200 missions of a more or less very, very similar racing. Uh, it's very much the same thing over and over. Um, and uh, it's an 11 hour run, and I did it without going to the toilet, and I had lunch in between loading screens. <laughs> it was pretty awful. I feel sorry for you just hearing about it. Yeah, I it, it didn't it was like very I I intended to go to the bathroom at one point and I just didn't and my brain just I forgot to go. <laughs> it was it was kind of amusing, but I was uh, I was with my friend uh who yeah, Tommy boy, he's in the chat I think somewhere. Um and yeah, we uh we were we were very like our commentary was good at the beginning, and then, like, I think the six-hour mark hit, and we were like, we have nothing more to give. <laughs> we, we can't say any words. Help. <laughs> like, anyone speak to us. Ask a question, please. <laughs> we must remain away. It's just because it's... Are these puzzles different? Like, these seem harder. Um... I mean, you're playing them slow. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if they would be harder or not. This one... I feel like this one is later in the game, but I could be completely wrong. Should be another reminder that Teal needs a new computer. Yeah, uh, yeah, I need a new computer. That's you, what that you, bar at the top is for. You, you indeed can help if you give me what I think is one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> I can't believe we're only at the end of Maxar Casino. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been an hour. That's not. Terrible. Especially not for slow motion. No, that's alright. So, yes, this is oh, something that's inspector, new. Inspector bot time, huh? Yes, but there is actually something different. This thing wasn't here in the... Well, not the original, but, you know, it wasn't there. The, the this, limo? Yeah, the limo is not there. I, the limo take you? I have seen where this takes me. I have a... I like how it hits the uh, thing. Oh. Take you uh, to your death. Interesting. I've seen it not kill me before. Uh, it takes you to outside of the arena from the entrance. Um, I can only assume it was removed because you can get to the arena via this. Yeah. Actually, on that note, something I want to check. Does this switch directions? It does. Interesting. I thought maybe it was because this doesn't switch directions would be why you uh, had the limo there. Because you can just get to it this way and... Because if it didn't switch directions, you'd have to con continuously jump across it, and it'd be really boring. But First no, that's... That the limo is in the PS3 version too. Is it in the really? Is it now? I see snow. I have awesome. never seen it before, but uh, but yeah, it takes you right here. It takes you over here. Yeah. That's oh stupid. man, you subscribed! Thank you so much for the subscription. I really appreciate. It. Oh, you can you can spout my beautiful face in the chat if you want. Can you add that to your uh, uh, computer budget bar? Uh, I can't, unfortunately, but I do have, like... Why am I leaving? What am I doing? Um, it doesn't. It's only for bits, that bar. Um, although I do have a subscribe button and obviously a donate button and stuff. But the... Uh, yes, the... I do have, like, a separate, like, memo of, like, what needs to be where and how much I've been given. Is the port screen different? Yes, it is a little bit different. Um, uh, it is a tiny bit. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, the, I, I really like how this looks in this version. Someone said to look at the controls. Controls, controller vibration, pause when quick selecting. Okay. Is that why you want me to... Was that what you wanted me to do? Um, but yes, you, you heard Futaba... You did, you did hear that, uh, by by that subscription, that godly subscription. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it, this is your uh, this is your favorite bit of the game, isn't it? Yes, this was another another thing that uh, an absolute uh, triumph, I think. That was... I took, I took responsibility for, but didn't do the initial design for, for the most part. Um, so I had to. Uh, 
uh, I did a little bit of design work on this, and then I sort of had to go to the user tests and watch people play it and fail, and then figure out why and try to fix it. And this this was rough, man. This this was uh, I I went a little crazy <laughs> in what I decided to do, and uh, I think I think nowadays I'd probably do better. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I think Ratchet Free, you, you redeemed yourself. Uh, so I mean, it's that's what Mark Cerny said. Yeah. Yeah. And Mark Cerny knows because many, my, many, the, many the things. Factor, the refractor in Ratchet 3 totally makes up for this section of the game. He's yeah. Like. <laughs> the, uh, I actually told him about that recently, and he didn't remember it. He's like, oh my god, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> he seems like a lovely guy whenever I see him on stage. I like him. Yeah, he was, uh, he was on stage uh, for uh, PSX uh, at the conference. So, yeah, now he's the he's the big wig in charge of the PlayStation Four, so he's yeah, yeah, place. yeah. Uh, please request him to set up backwards compatibility. Cheers and thank you. And I know, I know, Knack, uh, Knack Two got rated a lot better than the first one. Yes, it did. I haven't played it. I've heard it's still not great, but better is better, so that's good. The uh, oh, did you uh, did you hear about the big uh, uh? I've got what's the word? Um, remake at PSX. What big remake? Medieval. You know what? I never, I never even heard of that game. Really? The, about the remake. Like, oh man, Medieval is great. It, like, what, what is, what is it about? Medieval is great. It's a, so it's an action hack and slash game where you play as Sir Daniel Fortescue, who fell at the first charge. He is a, uh, he's basically a ske well, walking skeleton, uh, but in the charge against uh, the evil wizard Zarok, uh, who I always thought was a woman when I was a, a child, uh, he, uh, he basically gets hit uh, in the eye by an arrow at the very, f the very first arrow and basically dies before he could become a hero. Uh, I've always said that he is a hero. What if he got in the way of the person who actually killed Zarok? I mean, you don't know that. He could have totally done that. Um, also, as an uh, as an update, NAC one was a fifty eight according to game rankings. NAC two, seventy two. That is That's much better. Improvement. That is a big improvement. That is that is much better. Um, but yeah, Dan, so Dan is uh, is it's a really fa it's fantastic soundtrack, fantastic gameplay, um, just really great levels. Very like it's very gothic horror kind of uh, level design, but it's fantastic uh, worlds. Really good. I think you'd really enjoy it. Okay. Well, um, it's it. yeah. I mean, it's if you wanted to play the originals, I mean, there's this, <coughs> or you could. Uh, it's on PS3 uh, via the like PSN store, so you know. That's cool. But uh, yeah, I'm always always glad to hear about it. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's really good. I think you'd really enjoy it. And uh, I need to get in contact with someone about auditioning to be uh, the gargoyle at the beginning of the game, because <laughs> I can do an okay uh, voice for it. I could I could I could be someone at the Hall of Heroes. Come on. Oh, actually, I don't think I really told you about that yet. Uh, so, because I, I left my job, because um, there were circumstances, and uh, I um, I went to London to study voice acting for a couple of weeks. Oh, good. I, uh, awesome. Yeah, I studied under JP, who's an uh, audio producer, and um, uh, Yvonne, who's a, uh, a voice coach, and they're some of the best in Britain uh, by far. They're brilliant, and they had a little course going. So it's basically a two-week course, and it was like ev every day I was there it was full-on eight-hour days. Some, like a lot of it being theory, a lot of it being um, uh, like actually working um, in in the booth itself, uh, and it was it was fantastic. It was a fantastic experience to um, to like learn and and grow and what was uh what was really like flattering um is what we always did is we did two versions of each like uh thing we were voicing uh so the first one where we did it and they were like okay that's great but could you do it this way instead um just because this would make it sound better and then then the second one is the one we heard back um and just what ended up happening when I did it uh, cuz I there were Two times where I had to come in with my own voices, we had to bring three voices each. Uh, two times, so we six overall. Um, and I feel like turning this bolt crank is way faster in this version. I might be wrong. Um, the uh, but yeah, I but when you 
finish this section, you gotta push. Start yes, this. yes, I'm aware. Um, but yeah, the uh, when I did it, um, the first the first set of three, um, they were just like there was one word you didn't really pronounce properly, but apart from that, fantastic. So I was like, oh, okay, I can do that. Uh, and then the second time, um, this with the second set of voices, they were just like, you don't need to change anything. It's it's brilliant. I was like, wait, really? <laughs> so it was really flattering. Um, and they were uh, they were saying that I take direction really well, which obviously for that kind of industry is very good. Um, and uh, yes. what was for being directed? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that's something you want in an actor. Yes, um, I I got really good at like uh, proofreading. Uh, you know, like reading it prior to like w like being able to read it without having read it before that kind of thing. So it was, I, I think is that is that what it's called proofreading? Or am I wrong? For what? Uh, like if you if you're reading like you you're reading something blind for the first time and you basically are able to act it without like you're you're skimming it before you say it kind of thing. I always heard it called blind reading. Blind blind reading, yeah, I guess it might be. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I got that's pretty. How, that's how a lot of a lot of the stuff I've been to uh, how it works with the actors is just blind reading. Yeah, I I I got quite good at that. That um, stuff is all la done the last minute, right? So they don't yeah. have. They don't have the lines ready for you to read beforehand most of the time. Although actors really prefer it for the most part. Yeah, of course. Oh, cold read. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. Cold read. Um, yeah, the um, the on apparently on the original Spyro games, my friend who worked on them was telling me. Um, sorry, not the originals. This was the uh, post Insomniac pre Skylander Spyro games. Okay. Uh, they had Gary Oldman in, I guess. Yes, in the Legend of games. Yes. Yeah, apparently he came in and he was like excited about it and prepared and like he had ideas and stuff and uh and my friend was just like this is really cool like this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, so he's they, a professional. They it to him in advance and yeah, he had a, he had a whole take on how he wanted to do it. Oh, that's fantastic. It was like. That's awesome. That was, that was super fun. Apparently Elijah Wood is a really cool guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he seems cool in interviews. He didn't respond to our tweets. We tweeted at him, being like, "When are you returning for Spyro?" <laughs> like, because he was he was okay-ish in that game. I'm, <laughs> sure he'd, I'm sure he'd return to Spyro if some you know. We, were, we just we just like made some like tweets at him and just be like we had like we we made like little references to his work in it and some of them joking, some of them just genuinely serious. Uh, but no response, sadness. Uh, but at the voice acting thing, it was what was really cool is um I. They basically said it, if um, if I wanted to pursue it and like get an agent and and uh, make a proper demo reel and stuff, I could actually make it, which is actually really flattering and really yes. great to hear. Are you, are you gonna do that? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna work on a demo reel. I've got a couple ideas for it. Um, and yeah, it's just I my my plan is basically I I would love to voice in. I, okay, I have I have two goals in. In my life, I want to voice in something Disney, which is a big one, but it, do it doesn't have to be a main character. Just a two, a one line will do. I can say I'm a Disney kid. Um, there you go. Um, and also to voice in something that's uh, one of my like a, a game franchise that I love. So like Spyro or Medieval or whatever. Like something like that would be just awesome. My um. I, if if the if a Spyro collection is uh, announced at any point, um, my plan is to um, ha ask for an interview because I have friends within that section uh, of Activision and uh, Vicarious Visions, so I could probably make it happen. Um, and my plan would be basically during said interview to ask if I can audition for any of the side characters in Spyro because I can do really good impressions of them. They need to make them somewhat accurate, of, so that. I'll, I'll... I want to hear the impressions. Oh Go man! For it. Oh boy! You've, which you can't get away with which now. which which ones do you want? Which? Yes. That that's not that's helpful. <laughs> all of them. All of them. Yeah. Um, well, we've got um we got the the gem cutters at the beginning of Spyro Two, so it's like, hi Spyro, welcome to Glimmer. The Lord of the Lizards have stolen all of our gems. <laughs> I really I enjoy this. There's a uh, there's a uh, there's this guy. Uh, Everyone knows this one. Trouble with the trolley, eh? Well, just use the analog stick to change lanes. He's, he's a pretty good one. He's uh, 
As like, there's a guy who's just like a really stoic magician. He's just like, I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians until that warlock over there stole my wand. There's uh oh, there's the the seahorse. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. <laughs> they're just they're, they're fun voices. They're good ones. Oh, there's a, also there's this fucking like blubber guy who like I, he's he's like a. I don't know what he is, I can't remember what he is, but he's basically like, The baby turtles have been ferried to safety! Just like, okay. It, it, it sounds like I'm making a really awful voice, but it's genuinely what it sounds like. <laughs> Flubber, I guess. It's just, I just really, I'd love to voice them. I'll, I'll at least audition you, for it, it'd be fun. Can you do money bags? I wish. Like, I can, I can, like, I could try, I could practice it. Like, I, uh, I was... Uh, you know, streaming Nino Cooney, and there's this, there's this guy who's basically like a really deep, like gruff Welsh fairy, and over time I just got better at voicing him when he didn't. Oh, sh oh, wait, oh, yeah, it's this the thing. Uh, let me make a second state just in case I screw this up. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get this right. And, and it's gonna happen at some point. And oh, I'm going to jam it, jam it. I don't think I was fast enough. I don't what? think I was fast enough. Let's try it again. That, that's what that's what loading's for. Start jamming on start. Yeah. You, ah, how do you? That has to be. That must be really like specific. Why? <laughs> How do you do? How how do you do? You gotta push all the shoulder buttons and the triggers as well as start and select at the same time. Wait, really? It's all of those as well? That's what he said. That sounds oh, okay. right. Oh, there we go. Oh, well done. <laughs> yeah, that's the cheat way of skipping a cutscene. Nice. Nailed it. Didn't know I had to press triggers as well. Um, Forrest, do you know if there's a way to... Uh, Use cheat engine to unlock the debug menu. I'll, I'll give money back to try. <laughs> that Ripto has caused enough damage. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Legend has it. <laughs> anyway, no. Yeah, we wanted to. We wanted to call. Uh... It's not good enough. Guy in Skylanders money bags, but oh yeah, you said you couldn't. Apparently, because of Monopoly, we couldn't. Yeah. I want. I, I wonder what would happen with that now. Like, would they be allowed to aspire if they brought it back? Probably. Who knows? Because I mean, it was yeah. technically a character back then, so it still has the copyright, surely. One yeah. would think. But uh. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But well, I... it's not a new. It's not naming a new. All, all we all we've learnt from this is I want to voice in in fucking Spyro really. <laughs> make it happen. Sounds about right to me. <laughs> make it happen. Or well, medieval. Yeah, like... I, I, well, I I am not in a position to make oh, this. Oh, these are new. Those I I think those Megacorp signs weren't there, were they? No, I think they got taken out. Yeah. I remember putting them there though. Oh really? That was you. Hey, nice. Yeah. yeah. I think are this is different as well. Piece? Those little glass tubes used to have robots in I think... I don't think they're even glass tubes in the final version. Are they? I might be wrong. I don't recognize them, though. But, They were yeah. very expensive, frame rate wise because yeah. they're two layers of glass, and whenever you had two layers of glass, stuff got messed. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. It just couldn't figure out how to be transparent correctly, and then, yeah, it just didn't end well. The problem, like, so, I don't know if, how much you know about this kind of thing, but, like, how do you get your foot in the door for for something like voice acting a game without... Man, I don't know. Because, like, because um, the problem is, like, with a lot of things is they cast people who are already super well-known because they're super well-known and they know they can do it. Like, so there's, there's a couple things. Uh, I have a couple voice actor friends. I know one of them has written uh, a book about it. And another one, she wrote blog posts about it. So it's a common question. I just don't know the answer. Fair enough. Uh, but it's possible. My, uh, so my friend Frida, uh, she 
uh, I worked with her at Obsidian. She did uh, game audio, like uh, sound effects. And music oh, Foley, like yeah. Yeah, uh, not necessarily Foley. But, oh, okay. Uh, she may have done Foley, I, I, I'm not sure. But other things, like make, you know, implementing sound in the games to make sure it plays at the right time. And right, creating, yeah, yeah. Creating sound effects. Out That's got to be really hard. It, it's pretty hard, yeah. But then she, she took... Uh, voice acting classes with uh, Richard Horvitz, the guy who does Invader Zim. Oh, yeah, and the Chaos. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then now she does it professionally. She's like the, the voice of the mom in Octodad. She's the civilization voice. She was just in uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Like, she's in everything now. Oh, and wow. It's possible. Yeah. No, I would, I, I would just love it because it's really fun to do. Like, I was all, when I was there, I was super nervous before going in the booth, and then when I was there, it was just like second nature. Just able to just, like, just bolt it out without issue. It was really fun. I, w I would love to do it at some point. It would be fantastic. Yeah, I've, I've been in the booth a few times, and I really like it too, so. Mm. It's, well, it's what a, did it's you do for? Uh, I was some of the monsters in Resistance. Oh, awesome! They didn't even need to put a filter on me, man. It was just like... <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> that, that's the best noise I've ever heard in my life. And there was, there was a period where the monsters and resistance talked, so I actually had some lines originally. Interestingly, uh, the shadow for this box is not square, and it's also not above the, uh, the box at all. <laughs> it's to the left. Also, the crane cam is a different color I think it might even be completely <laughs> different as a thing oh is it uh, yeah the I don't know it's, it's definitely not the same I don't know how different but no that was amazing that was an amazing voice <laughs> uh, bag says I scared the shit out of him when he was 313 or her him oh, yeah which one? him okay yeah he's a buddy of mine he, he's, he's, he's a rad dude um, yeah, no, that's, I... Oh, so this, I can tell you why this area is out of frame. Go backwards a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, where, how far back? Uh, just in that previous room. Oh, yeah. Okay, now look down. You uh, see those little red things down there? Yes. Okay, so each one of those had, like, a thousand polygons. Oh. <laughs> we, we sim in, the, in the final game, we simplified it down to something like 12. Wow. It why? Why it does huge. it have so many? <laughs> Because it was all smoothed out and everything, and we couldn't figure out what was causing it, but there were like hundreds of them. Oh my and god! Just like it may not have been, it might have been thousands uh, together, but we eventually oh. said that. So each one of those was like twelve instead of oh man, a like, hundred or two hundred or however many. That's it was. ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's that's brilliant. I uh, I I resistance was probably like one of the first like. I mean, it's not horror per se, but like horror-ish kind of games I played, um, and I uh, I played with my friend Callum, and we uh, we had a blast of it. And I was super bad at the game, but I was I was you played multiplayer. Yeah, but I I was that mind was bait. I was mind bait. I just, I just walked out, took it all, and he revived me. It was all I good. Did, I did the man. I designed the Manchester level. In single player, and then that was one of the last levels, right? And I was the lead designer for multiplayer. Uh, I, no, I don't. It was in the middle there, it, it was the one that uh, the Church of England got really upset about because I put Manchester Cathedral in it. Oh, whoopsies! So they, were, <laughs> they got real upset. Uh, nice. But you know, the game sold better, and there was a whole bunch of, uh, tourism at Manchester Cathedral, so I think it worked out for the best. I, I still can't believe you, you made that epic voice without... <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they said normally they'll, like, combine a human voice with a lion or something. Yeah. Like, for mine, that, that's it. They just yeah. put it in. Like, the best I can do is, like, Pokemon Cry. So it's just, like... <laughs> like, those, those sort of, like... <laughs> those, those kind of ones. And then, then there's the really annoying ones, which is just, like... <laughs> no. N no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, that's the best. That's the best I can do. Like, for that kind of thing. So, at least without causing myself a glottal shock, which is just like my throat dying. K 
Come on, get get the get the yellow thing. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, that's what the shadow was. The shadow wasn't the box. The shadow was the crane. Mm hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think the shadow is directly under it. I think it has to do with the lighting, so that might. Be yeah, I I think so. Because it's supposed to be, uh, uh, you know, an indication of what's going on. Mm. What was that screen flash for? Uh, I missed it. I was looking at the chat. So I don't know. Well, it just flashed white for some reason. Um, I have no idea. Like a nuclear bomb. Sweet. Maybe it's because Did I destroyed. Did a bomb go off near your house? Is that what happened? Uh, to my knowledge, no. Um, thankfully. Uh, well, but, well played, then. but I'll, I'll I'll keep you posted. I, the good thing is, I guess, if there ever was, like, a nuclear war, I'm probably in one of the safest places in the world. Because no one yeah. is going to nuke Jersey. That would just yeah. be an utter waste of a nuke. They would even nuke the UK or France, and both of those are too far away to actually get me. Like, we have nothing. If anything, Russia probably has money in, in our islands. So, like, everyone in the world probably has all, like, all the stuff that they need. Like, in Jersey, because we're a tax haven, so... Oh, is that what you are? Is yeah. that why you live there, too? You are a tax no, haven. No, I, I live there because my parents live there, and actually, because of Brexit, we will probably be tax haven no longer, and we're actually going to be really crippled by it. Ouch. It's going to be fun times, love our government. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't vote for it. No, neither did I, unfortunately, because Jersey has... It's, it's amazing, Jersey is... In the UK, but not linked to the UK, we have our own government, yet we're still being accounted for the same rules of Brexit. It's fantastic. However, the uh, the worse our government does, the, the more the pound drops, and the more the pound drops, the closer it is to the dollar, and the closer it is to the dollar, the more money I get from YouTube. So, uh, it's a win-win for me, technically, in so that regard. Else for you. Okay. To a point. It's more like a lose-win, but that was... Yeah, I mean, it's a lose for everyone else in Britain. For me, it's, n it's, not, all, it's not bad. It's alright. I, oh, I can I'll I'll manage. I s <laughs> Actually, I wonder if there's going to be a Skylander um, the game next year, because no they idea. they left uh, they had a year out. Uh -huh. I'm yeah, I, I'm kind of glad they had a year out because it gives them more time to focus, I guess. They're if... still selling Skylanders at the Best Buys near me. Yeah, yeah, they're still going. For uh, Imaginators, I think they were still releasing uh, more. Yeah, there's characters this year. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll probably get an announcement like between February and E3, because that's what uh, usually happens. The only, the only toys for life still releasing regularly right now is uh, Amiibos. Oh really? Huh. Yeah, I think Lego Lego stopped. Yeah, Lego stopped. Dimension. Yeah, Lego Dimension stopped. There Disney Infinity stopped. There was a Kickstartered Skylander Z type game. Um, oh yes, I did see that. They actually were like, "Oh, would you like promote us?" And it was it was a thing that I had to use my phone and my my phone. Make a Toys to Life game on on Kickstarter, like it. Just the economics don't. Seem yeah, I mean, ugh, Kickstarter is such a hard so thing expensive. to use anyway. I mean, it's like it it costs something like ninety to to make a game. Yeah, like it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's like the gross national product of you know. It's it's kind gotcha. of impressive how like big of a money maker it actually is though if done well. Yep. Yeah. Can you hear me? I don't know why I had the old man yep there. <laughs> oh, I wonder if uh, if uh, oh, which one is it? Is it Liftbot? I wonder if Liftbot will have more of a purpose in this version. Oh, I wonder. Probably not, but we'll see. Cause, cause Liftbot, so underappreciated. He does literally one thing. <laughs> it's yeah, a I, real I, shame. I think he got cut before this build, but I'm not sure about. It. Why, why did he get cut out of curiosity? Cause he's still used once. Yeah, just the. So he was supposed to get used in the uh, final level. Okay. Uh. And then you sort of trained him here, so he'd be used in two levels. But then the the clank segment in the final level got cut. Right. Okay. So he only appeared here. Whoa! Twice. The and build the bridge icon looks rad in this game. 
That looks they, super they, cool. Those weren't the way they were. I no, these. these are different. These are really yeah. cool. I love that. I don't remember what it looks like in the final version, but it's different than that. That's really cool. See, I remember it looking this way, so it must have been this way for most of the game. Yeah, I imagine so. That's a really nice. Why? Why did you change so many pieces of animation which looked really cool? Uh, they it... might have been temporary. I don't know. It's just it's weird. It's like. Like, that's a really cool piece of animation. I, or, like, that really, like, uh, nice, like, drawing for it. Like, it should stay. It should stay. It's LB. Look at that. Bridge Bart. My bay. Make the bridge yeah. for me. Oh, and it even glows purple. Why was this removed? That's amazing. What? It, the, the icon for it glows purple. And it even changes image when it's being used to retract it. Oh, my. Why? Why were these removed? They look so cool. I don't know. I'm... I'm yeah. honestly disappointed they were removed. They're really nice looking. It's surprising. I'm sure the artist who made them would feel very good about it. Yeah. Artist, if you ever watch this, you're a legend. Thank you for making that one image that I, will, that I have seen now. Lift the bar, Lift the bar. yeah. Buddy. So he he has this one use here, and then he was supposed to be used with the bridge bot in the next area. But I think that already had been cut at this point. Mm, possibly. If the final level wasn't active, then yeah. The problem with these guys is that they're all... Um, they don't stack with each other, generally. Like, you can't do a lifter bot and a bridge bot. Yeah. Which means True. you don't get to really advance the puzzles at all. You know? mm, yeah. Oh man, that's so different. Yeah, like, that is very different. There, there, there were not two people at the end of that in the original. So there, there used to be over on the far side of this gap at the bottom, there was a lifter bot brick, and you'd have to lift it up at the end of this thing so that you could run over it. Oh really? Yeah. Probably got to attack, man. Yeah, I was trying to just enter them, but fine. Fine, I'll kill them. Whatever. Oh no! Lift bot! He got moitered. Uh -huh. Oh, that's why he's not a letter in the game. We, yeah, we, we gotta make them enter there. so he doesn't return, just for continuity. Teal, Teal killed him. That's why he's not there. Yep. Cannon. Officially cannon. There you go. That That is official. That is literal cannon now. I like how Ratchet was in the door there. <laughs> it's pretty good. Was he not in the final game? Um, he was just like in front of the door, though. Is what I mean. Like he, he's usually behind it. I feel bad. Man. Yeah, li lift bot bad can lift no you, more. You murdered lifter bot. I'm pretty sure these like red veiny vats weren't there before. I think okay. that. Why is this level so different and really cool looking in in this version? God, man, your game is so slow. I know it is. I'm very aware. I'm, I, I'm feeling like it more than you are. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's almost exactly like I need a new computer. It's almost exactly like I need one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> so if anyone, <laughs> oh boy, donate it, now, kids. It's a, it's a good one. It's a good old giggle. I'm really bad at promoting that kind of thing. Because at the end, of, like, if any time I like mention my Patreon, I'm I'm always end that sentence with, "But you don't have to." <laughs> Just of course I, they don't. I I feel I feel bad about it, even though I really would like the money because I have to live somehow. <laughs> living is overrated, man. Overrated. I I like living. Living's pretty good. Oh, fine. All right. I'm I'm enjoying can't, it. Can't be right about everything. I, I'm having a good old time with it. Teal for president. I literally couldn't be president. I'm not from America. Therefore, I believe I'm out. I mean, I, I'm i assuming that is true. I assume that only a, an American well, citizen... Do you, have a pre do you have a president of Jersey? That, no, we have government officials. Um, like Not like a prime minister, but we have just like elect kind of people who... Like a governor? Uh, yeah, sort of. I don't really know much about our government, to be honest, because it's so massively inconsequential. <laughs> they do really not much for the island, if I'm being honest. 
They, I don't know how much of their decisions actually impacts the island. So, I've, I've not really cared, if I'm being honest. The moment that we hire someone who's like the master and just like, blow, like, takes over the world, then, then I'll start caring. Huh. But up until that point, no. You already did that, man. Yeah. I remember, uh, what's his name? Uh, what was his name? Trump? No. <laughs> what, was the, what was the name of the prime minister who turned out? Howard Saxon. That's it. What about Howard Saxon? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he... You voted for Howard Saxon. I, I mean, yeah, there, there was just something about, about his voice. It was, it was nice. I don't, I don't know what it was. It was just something about his personality. Just absolutely lovely. Someone, there's, there's, there are people watching who have absolutely no idea what we're doing. <laughs> and it's, it's very satisfying. The, uh, so the Doctor's a female now. Yep. I'm pretty, pretty hyped. excited about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm well, looking forward to seeing what they do. Not until Christmas. Not until yes, Christmas. true, true. But it's it's so soon. The Doctor's still a really old-looking man. Yeah, yes, yes. But is he older or younger than too, Doctor number one? Too old-looking man. Well, Doctor number one was supposedly 300-something. Well, I mean, in terms of doctor age, yes, but I mean in looks, which which do you think is actually, like, physical age, younger? Oh, you mean or uh, Filch or or Scot Scottish dude? What's his name? <laughs> Capaldi? Uh, Capaldi. Filch or Capaldi, is that who you're talking about? Yeah, which which be younger? Uh, Filch looks older. Filch definitely looks older. Wait, who's Filch? Uh, the guy who's playing Dr. One. Oh, he's right, he's I see, yeah. I was going to say, yes, I see. I mean, technically Hartnell, but but yes, Filch. Okay, that's his name. Cool. Gotcha. Well, he's not Hartnell. Well, no, no. Well, of course, of course, he is though. Time travel. He's, the, he's now the second person besides Hartnell to play the first. Time. Yes, but no time travel. It's definitely Hartnell. And so far, I I think he's doing a better job uh, than the other dude who wasn't Hartnell. Uh, I yeah yeah I I agree actually. I mean, the other guy wasn't bad, he just wasn't... No. Good, you know? No. He was just alright. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty looking for. I'm very much looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing what they do with it. I'm, I'm hoping they don't, like, try and, like, talk about it too much, I guess? Like, don't make it a talking point every single second, because they could very easily fall into the trap of doing that. What, you mean that the Doctor's a woman? Yeah, like if they they make a joke about it every five seconds, like in some I'm way. I'm looking like... forward to the Doctor meeting River Song. Yeah. Is that actually going to happen? It hasn't been announced, but it has to, right? I mean, that would be great. That, that would be a massive surprise they, for her. It just seems like they would sass each other and create a sass black hole that would consume <laughs> the universe. <laughs> Although, I, you know, I guess I don't know how sassy the new Doctor is. But yeah. Most doctors are pretty sassy. The, the new Doctor could be the most boring person alive. I doubt it very much. It was interesting, because, like, uh, my parents don't really like her being the Doctor, because they think she's a bit wooden and stuff she's done. I've not actually seen Broadchurch. Um, I've heard she's good in it. Um, you know, people people thought that uh, David Tennant wasn't going to be a good Oh, really? Because they didn't like some of the other things he was in. But and the and that look at him now. He's like one of the best that, actors alive. The things that made him not that great at the other roles he was in at the time were the things that made him great as a doctor. Which yeah, really weird. fair enough. I like, I hadn't really seen just, him before Doctor Who, so I don't really know what he'd done. If, you, if you'd like a laugh sometime, you should see him doing uh, Hamlet. Okay, noted. And you'll see, you'll see, he's basically the doctor. Kind of funny. Huh, okay. And then there's stuff like Jessica Jones, where he is fucking awesome. I love that. I that that's something I would love to voice act a villain, a good villain. That would be really fun to do. Cause I, I I can I can shout lines very well. It would be really fun. Good times. We're talking about silence in the library in the chat. That was a good episode. It was yes. Speaking of River Song. Mary and I recently went through and watched all of Doctor Who in River Song's order. 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, it was actually really interesting to do. Uh, huh. Found, someone listed out the episodes uh, in the order of her timeline, as near as, as near as people could tell. So you watched it in that order, and it was huh. really interesting. Because you start thinking about, like, when, when you get to her technically earlier episodes, you, it's in your head, like, the stuff that she's not telling the Doctor because he doesn't know yet. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. I'm guessing the first one is Let's Kill Hitler. If, if you're watching it in her time, yeah, you know, it's uh, the end of uh, the astronauts on the moon. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's true. And, oh, no, no, it's a good man goes to work because she's an infant. Yes, okay, so, yes. At the beginning of that when she's an infant, then you see when she's a little girl. Huh. And then, uh, I think the next time you see it is uh, in Let's Kill Hitler, yeah. Yeah. When she's a teenager. Huh. Basically. I need to do that. That sounds really cool. It was cool. Mar Mary uh, said she never sort of got River's timeline until she watched it that way. So, like, so how cool does way. like watching something like um, Silence in the Library compare? Like, Does it have a couple issues here and there? Because obviously it was written first. A few, but they, they wrote around a surprising number of them. <gasps> oh, the game triangle isn't here. Look, there, it, it's to your left. Like, there's two pedestals there with just some stuff on it. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, crazy. the game pyramid's not there. The game pyramid's not there. There's, you know, some weights and stuff. Because Clank was lifting weights. That Why would Clank need to lift weights? I, I don't think that's there in the final version. But it's just kind of funny, because why would... Like, just think about it for a second. Yeah. What benefit could Clank possibly get out of it? Also, movie? they're, like, the size of him. <laughs> I'm sure he could already lift that. Like, Clank is... Oh, yeah, Jack and Daxter isn't on the TV. That's true. Yep. That is yeah, true. I don't, think, I don't think their billboard is in there yet. Mm. Uh, like, there was a billboard in a later level for Jack and Daxter. Right. And then, uh, Ratchet and Clank were in Jack, too. Yep, yep. I'll need to that find that when I stream Jack 2 deals. tomorrow. And then we had a Sly reference, too. I think we had a Sly Cooper trailer. Uh, oh, yes, movie. you do on the uh, title screen. Yeah. yeah, you have, I think it plays Ratchet 1, Ratchet 2, Jack 1, Jack 2, Sly 2, or maybe just Sly 1. Um, but, yeah, yes, it does play a bunch of stuff. I think it's random which ones it plays. But they're pretty cool. I should probably save again, just in case. Yeah. I wonder how far this goes. I have no idea. Sly 2 demo is an up your arsenal. Oh, really? Oh, that was a camera angle. <laughs> Sly 3 was my favorite. Okay. Yeah, I still haven't played the Sly series. Yeah. I really need to. I need to, get Dude, to do play, play Sly 3. Uh, if, you, if you're not going to play any of the other Sly 3, because it's really good. Like, it was, it was they, they really had it down. I uh, I will uh, I will definitely do do that. I will play all them all of them at some point because I've I've been requested for ages to do it, so I probably should. One and two were pretty good, but three was a masterpiece. It was a really good. Cool. I will certainly get to that at some point. Have you like looked up anything to do with uh, dreams by Media Molecule? No. Cause no. that game. I'm. Like, I... Because they hadn't really shown off any of it since, like, E3 2015. So what, we knew it was still in development, but it was just, like, in almost, like, a limbo sort of state because we just had no idea. It, it was like Schrodinger's dreams. We didn't know if it was alive or dead. Um, and... But now you know it's alive? Well, yeah, the uh, the PSX... Actually, no, it wasn't PSX. It was um, Game Awards demo, uh, or trailer, I should say, is so cool because they show off loads of different, like, game modes and stuff and uh, PlayStation Access and I love those guys. I think they're a fantastic channel and group. Tom, Tommy Boy 101 wants to join you on. You want to join me on Sly? Uh, sure. I'm up for that. I could uh, I could have you for a, for a play for a Sly. That'd be cool. I haven't actually had you on my channel officially um, so that'd be cool. Um, but um... I'm watching the Dreams trailer now. But yeah, the, the thing I love about that um, is, like, listening to the PlayStation Access, they were saying everything that you can do in that game, everything in the main campaign, because there's a main campaign and there's also a creation tool. And the creation tool is basically Little Big Planet, is but 3D. Huh? 
Huh? Uh, it will have v it will have VR after launch. Okay. But basically, it's all done with your PlayStation controller, and you can basically create anything. It's it from what I can tell, from what people have been showing off, it's ridiculously easy to create anything in that game. Oh, these are rad! These were solid doors. They look sort of awesome in this, because they're sort of. Like they they look. I think it's supposed to be frozen. I don't know. No man, that's, it's, that I don't. Text, I kind of like it. <laughs> that is. That's a texture bug. I kind of yeah. like that. I don't know why. I just think it looks super rad. Anyway, um, like the creator was supposed to be super easy. Like people can create anything, and by anything, I mean anything. To be to the point. Everything in the campaign is created in the Dreams Engine. And by Dreams Engine, the creator tool. And we're not talking just, oh, the models or... No, no. The gameplay mechanics created in the Dreams Engine. The music and sounds created in the Dreams Engine. If you can't create it in the Dreams Engine, you can upload it to a specific website and put it into your game. You can have full-fledged voice acting. You can create literal games and world, and you can you can make your own game mechanics in this game. You, I, it, it's basically a level creator. Like it's like Bandcamp. It's like it's like everything in one, as an a fully fledged ultimate creation tool, and apparently super simple to use as well. Like the the idea is that they wanted to. Like, have all the things that, or at least, like, all the things that you can do in a creation tool, but simplified so it's not really daunting the first time you look at it. Yeah, so, um, I get why that's cool, but that's also work for me, so it's not something that I ever want to True. do in a video game. No, I, 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 know, I know you don't like Mario Maker for that reason, right. but the thing is, it's I love Little Big Planet. Like like yes. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Or Little Big Planet was cool, but I, I didn't want to make anything in it because it just felt like work. But that's the thing. You don't have to. You can play other people's things. But that feels like work too. But why? You're just playing a game, a new game that someone else has made. Sometimes it'll be like the thing is like with Mario Maker isn't a good example of it. Little Big Planet did it really well. They they had staff have top picks. Like, the staff constantly played through levels over and over again just to see what were really good, and they had, like, a hundred top picks of, of that month, and basically, like, yes, these are great games, your levels, you should play them. Um, but and, sounds like work. But you don't have to do anything. You literally go to the first menu and play one of the games that are there if it sounds cool to you. Like that, know, man. That's so I simple. Know. It's the easiest I... thing in the world. You I don't get to have the same relationship to game. But you don't have that to. I did with before I was making them. But you, you don't have to do anything. Like, yes, okay, you can make anything. But I already can make anything. Like, yeah, but so us, bad. you normal people can't. Yeah, yeah. It, it's dreams is essentially a game maker, little big planet. Yes, but in the most like ultimate way possible, you can create anything. Like. I'm I'm pitching the idea to Nicole when that game comes out. Apparently, you can do it. You can work with people. Like you can share items with people and like implement them and share code and Is this stuff. This in the final game, this part. Yes. Okay. Um. So there are parts of this level that used to be for the hydro pack gadget. Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess they're not in here, but I was just wondering. Uh, but yeah, I've already, I'm messaging Nicole, but I think we should try and, like, recreate, uh, parts of Kingdom Hearts. Like, just, like, a fully-fledged, like, try and make the character look like Sora, try and make a world that's probably a condensed version, but look like a world from the original. Why is he not moving all the time? Um... But can you make friends, too? Yeah, that, that's, that's how I'm able to do it. I'll be playing it with my friend. <laughs> My only friend, when I when I go to the club and tell them, Yo dudes, I made Kingdom Hearts in Dreams! <laughs> I made Minecraft and then made Kingdom Hearts in... Oh yeah, I should totally make... <laughs> People are totally going to make Minecraft. And a lot of dicks. People, There will be so many dicks. That is usually the first thing. I mean, unless the game is a phallus slash swastika... I very much doubt it. <laughs> 
I don't know, dude. Sometimes you do. I mean, like, did you know that? Did you know that uh, Diablo three has an algorithm in it so that a random level won't get swastika? Won't get what? Sorry. Won't get made in the shape of a swastika. Okay. Huh. Fair enough. You gotta do. You gotta do stuff like that. Yeah. So maybe they have a dick detector. Fair enough. I mean, maybe. But so many people are gonna just try and recreate like famous levels and games, and that's actually gonna be really cool. Cause Dicks. yes. But the thing is, though, like, it could be done really well, like, it, it, to the point where it might feel accurate, which excites me, because just there's so much you could do with that. It's The potential is that there's so many people who have the patience to just be like, yeah, I'll make this. I'll spend a, a couple months or a year making this thing. Mm -hmm. And it's always nice to have that available for people. Yeah. It's just, you can understand why that's not my thing. Yeah, no, I do. I, I get it. But for me, it's really good, because it's one of those things where, like, I can see myself having, like, a, 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 like, I, for the first couple of weeks it's out, just having a creation session with people in, like, a stream. Like, we, we all, like, we all just try and make something together. Or, like, we, like, I have a weekly stream where I just play random levels on Dreams. That, or, <laughs> so, what I mean is random games, not levels, because that's what they will be at this point. It's so cool, though. I love yeah, the idea. Did, was this guy frozen when you came in here? Did you hit him with Yes, I hit him with the wrench. Okay. Oh, freeze a body of water! A body of water? I like how he speaks normally, but Ratch is like, Yeah, you trans. <laughs> Sure, I'll buy it. Oh, evil game! You, you made, you made the platform rise, so I couldn't, so I couldn't do it. The, uh, I couldn't cheat my way through. Annoying. Well played, game. Oh, the, uh, the bar is different. And oh yeah, this is that's the that's how it was. That's the debug bar. I quite like it actually. It's not that bad. Yeah, it was just a temporary solid color UI. Because I think the original square, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I kind you of like the original, but yeah, okay. Off, man. Like it, but the I kind of yeah, version. I quite like it being rounded, because it looks more like a thermometer. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I have weird tastes. But but I but I like me like. Everybody knows you have weird tastes. I do. I do. I'm a simple man. But but I like things. So far, so far not a ton of differences. No, not a massive amount. But you know, it's nice to know it exists. There might be another version out there somewhere. That's this earlier. This was named after Tom Barlow, one of our artists. Ah. Is he the legend who made the uh, the bridge bot image? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I I don't know who that would have been. Uh, I mean, I probably know the person. I just don't. Know yeah. Because yeah, that I don't know what it is. I just that that pleased me so much. It just it even lit up when you could use it. It's like that's that's so lovely. <laughs> it's, like it it must have it must be different in some way because I actually noticed it. <laughs> I wonder if the Ratchet 1 weapons are in this. Yeah, good. Well, if they are, I can't really get them for free. But yeah, you don't have a save, my man. But the save. that I wonder if that is implemented at this point. Well, there's a little there's a little note about it, right? So maybe Yeah, I think so. I think there would be a note of some description. I know a lot of people have been like hoping for like a Tools of Destruction uh, beta somewhere, and I don't even know if that exists or not, or if like someone starting has on it. The, starting on the PS3, they were a little harder on on that stuff, like make it, playing it, making it available, that sort of stuff. Mm. Uh, shredding discs, like people started doing that a lot more. Right. And back back in this day, 
Although, uh, when I left Activision, I did still have a build of Spyro's Kingdom on my desk uh, that I left with them at Activision. Uh, so sometimes, you know, sometimes builds will make it through the, yeah. the, the cracks. Yeah, imagine if, like, I, I imagine, like, it's possible that someday, like, like, a version of this or Spyro's Kingdom or whatever, just someone's like, yeah, okay, yeah, how about it, world? It's kind of... It's kind of cool that those things exist, that people care enough about this game still that they want to see beta versions, you know? Yeah, of course. Uh, there's, there's a lot of games that were made at this And Ratchet, people still play and still care about, which is cool. Mm. But I mean, as, as I've said, time, as I've said, like, many times, you... You and many other people who worked on this game, basically, as a team, like shaped mine and many others' childhoods, and it's like a game we look back on fondly because it's just like, yeah, this was this is a time when just it was so fun to play. It was so new, and it, it just felt great. And it was like the introduction to a, a whole world of new new types of games that we just didn't know really existed, I guess, um, and well, didn't know were possible. Because I mean, uh, like. If you grew up on the PS1, they were fantastic games for sure, but like, this is just a massive step up because of what was possible. They were just fantastic. Yeah. These, these games were pretty good. It's just funny that uh, uh, people seem to be playing these more than some that sold well better at the time. But yeah, I guess. I think there are some, like, I'm sure there are some people who still play stuff like the Grand Theft Auto, the earlier Grand Theft Autos, right? Yeah, but uh, to, that that's a really good club to be in. You see what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, of course there are still people playing Halo and, and Grand Theft Auto, but if I can be mentioned in that same list, that's a really good... I mean, we were not mentioned in that same list when the game came out. And yeah, I suppose. Sales, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It was a different order of magnitude for those games. So that, the idea that Ratchet's still in that list is cool. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Expected, you know? we, were ju we were just making these cute little funny kids games. Uh, that you know they they never sold as well as as Jack or or you know Halo or any of those things. So mm -hmm. it was uh, we just didn't know. But it's cool that people still love them. You know this this long after they came out. I may I make a vow to you on on this day, one day in the future, when I when I have made it somewhat bigger on the YouTube scene. And I have like someone who's like, oh yeah, I I'll animate for you for cash monies. Uh, I will make sure your cutscene gun is a reality. <laughs> Someday. I will make it real through the the magic of of a cutscene of, of an animation through the magic of someone else's hard labor that I will pay them for. It will become real. <laughs> I will make it so. Because that, it, it's one of the thing, one of those stories that every so often I just think about and I'm just like, yeah, I I love that story. Mike's Which great. One? The cutscene gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm glad you liked the cutscene gun. I love the cutscene gun. I want to make it a reality. Are we going to, are we going to tell that story again? I mean, you're, you're welcome to for people who don't know about the cutscene gun. So we were, I forget what game it was, but we were having a brainstorming session. I think it was free, you said. And, you know, we usually throw out everything you can possibly think of, and one of the ones that I pitched, uh, I think, it might have been me and someone else, or can't even remember, but was the cutscene gun, which was just, you fire the gun, and then a cutscene plays, and it's, you know, like, uh, 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 it's like, all, it, it's footage of nuclear bombs going off in black and white, you know, and like an old woman crying, and a child riding in circles on a tricycle and, you know, like, flames and fire. And then it would come back into the game and it would just be Ratchet standing on a little one meter platform with nothing around him. And then you'd have to restart the game. Yeah. Of the world. Yeah. And apparently that wasn't allowed. Yeah. I guess the, the decision was that, that it wasn't going to be very much fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, no, nothing against like just the whole nuking the universe. No, no, it's just not that fun to watch really, it. 
relatively easy to implement, but you know, for a joke, it's probably not worth it. Nah, I I love that though. I, it's it's so great. Oh, interesting. There's just a vendor in the middle of here. Well, the Gadgetron lady's there. Well, it's a Megacorp vendor. There wasn't a Megacorp vendor in here. It was just Gadgetron. I'm guessing it was removed because it's Megacorp. Probably. So, can we... Oh, can we... Oh! No, we can't. <laughs> I I don't think the Ratchet 1 guns were implemented yet. Oh, do, oh yeah. She's in her T-pose. Yeah, I, I have a feeling. Probably. This room is all kinds of weird. Like, I'm not... There's, the collision with the ground is off. Sorry? It's really weird. Huh. Yeah, it, it is weird, isn't it? And and there's also the ga the blame, uh, oh oh Tony no, you can get them, you can get them in here. Tony worked on this level, so it was his fault. Yeah, so you can actually get them for for cash monies. Let let's okay, get the wall up the one up. Yeah, but you usually get them from her. So there you go, got the wall up. It works exactly the same, which isn't surprising because you probably I assume with something like this, you can just implement the code from the Ratchet one. What do you mean? Well, like with the warper, is it like do you just do you have to remake it from the ground up, or do you it just take? It wasn't free, uh, but it it wasn't like as much work as making a whole new weapon. Right. Okay. Were you still using the ratchet one engine at this point, or was it a different engine? So the way it worked was, uh, we made ratchet one, and then when they were done with it, they basically cleaned up the engine a bit. You know, removed a whole bunch of stuff and then uh, but left left you know all the important stuff in like weapons and gadgets and stuff like that and then we just started making a new game and added features to the engine and then when Ratchet 2 was done we did the same thing we three in the same engine so until deadlocked all of those are the same engine just with improvements made to right gotcha and then um, Ratchet 3 and onwards, like the PS3 games were all made in... This cutscene is amazing, slowed down. <laughs> I can get me in my blue bell. <laughs> Just be real, channel. Someone said they lost Mike. Yeah, you you cut out like very very briefly, for a second, but uh. I, I you're t about, uh, I'm cut. I. Don't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, I'll stop. It's fine. <laughs> Hopefully, I scared a bunch of people with that noise. We'll we'll probably see in a few seconds people going ah. What? You... Oh, the uh, the the ultimate noise of uh, of the resistance character is is so good. It's so good. <laughs> I can, I guess, that's really good, <laughs> that's so cool, it, it's, it's fantastic, I, I hope you were credited as, like, the, I was not. I that was is credited. depressing, that was, a secret, that was a secret credit, oh man, it was an honour to know though, <laughs> I was happy to do it, uh, yeah, they replaced me in, in Resistance 2, uh, I, actually, I think they, it, no. <laughs> the, they got to uh, Chaos to do a bunch of those sounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I mean, he was he was yet to be Chaos. He was still yeah. in. But he did a bunch of the aliens in Resistance too. So I wonder how different this is, if at all. 
I will, f I will be able to tell you very soon. So yeah, far, it is the I same. I lowered his volume, so I didn't scare the crap out of him. Ah, uh, shame. Sad. That's so sad. I have a, I have a Bane tube, which basically makes me sound like Bane whenever I talk into it. But it also just elevates my voice because I can put it right next to the mic. Um, I like talking into it, and if I do it randomly, it can scare people very easily. It's very do fun. You, do your Bane tube. I want to hear the Bane tube. I will do it after the race. Um, Unacceptable. Uh, okay, lemon grab. I don't know if you know who that is. <laughs> no, I don't. Ah, uh, it's but an Adventure Time reference. A, I assume that all the all the millennials. And it's an Adventure Time thing. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't seen all Adventure Time. Yet. Adventure Time is great. I, I really like it. Like three and a half seasons of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, lemon grab is might be in season four. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. The race is running pretty smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's not good. There isn't any music, I don't think. Oh, for this, it's super quiet. The music might not have been implemented. No, possibly not. So, what do you do in t with stuff like this? For when, like, when, when you haven't composed the music, do you just put music from an earlier game in? Sometimes. Just, just so it's not devoid of all life? If it's necessary, you know, like if you're putting it in front of people to be judged, you want right. some music there. So you'll you, you'll steal a music track from somewhere. Uh, you know, sometimes, like uh, you'll you'll just take if it's not for you know the press or anybody, you can just use whatever music you want. You know, like you just put fucking I don't know Backstreet Boys in here because <laughs> that you know that'll always get you racing. Yeah. Or Beastie Boys, either way. Yeah, because I, like, being a tester, I would have thought it'd be maddening just listening to nothing. Yes, L-Bags, Ratchet 2 and 3 were 60 FPS. Deadlocked, they went down to 30. Because they were making it full split-screen co-op. Uh, so, in co-op it was 30, and in regular I think it was still 60. I'm not sure, they might have taken that down. I wonder if they're going to be working on another Ratchet game after Spider-Man. I don't know. I mean, they, uh, they would be a different Insomniac studio. So the oh. Burbank studio is working on Spider-Man. The North Carolina studio is the one that makes the Ratchet games now. Oh, okay. Oh, fair so, enough. So they might be working on it now, then. Interesting. If, if there's one, they might be working on it now. I don't know. I wonder how much I won by. <laughs> it seems like a lot. Yeah, 12 seconds. Maybe That's the, pretty good. the last word clip? Oh, interesting! Ha! Huh. The glitch isn't. Ha! Huh. The glitch isn't there. In the ori in the final version, it says uh, eighth, eighth, tenth, but in this one, it goes eighth, ninth, tenth. Oh, okay. Ha! Huh. Interesting. That must have gotten added after this point. Yeah. That's something that like no one else would know. <laughs> it's only that I noticed it because it annoyed me. <laughs> like no one else would notice that or care. I also noticed it because I look at like I like looking at the um the times at the end. All of the levels in Deadlocked had to get made once for co-op and once for regular because co-op since we were showing it twice on the screen it had to have half as many polygons. Uh -huh. So co-op kind of was a big deal in that game. Uh -huh. Someone asked me if I've seen the speedruns of this. I have. Pretty cool. Yeah. I like speedruns. Zem is an absolute legend. Yes, I, sometimes I go on Zem's uh, stream every so often. Yeah, I don't... Like, whenever I watch him, I'm just a massive lurker. I find it really hard to talk on, like, Twitch streams unless it's a friend. Like, I find it really hard to just, like, come into a stream and just be like, Hi. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so difficult. Huh? Oh, nothing. I'm tired. Oh, yawning. I'm so tired. Ah, uh, been working hard. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and moving in. My oh yes, of course. Oh, so you only just moved. Fourth, my, last night was my fourth night here. Oh wow. Okay, I didn't realize you only just moved. Fair enough. We're still living out of boxes. Like I just set my computer up 20 minutes before we started talking. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you for for doing that. I appreciate it.
because it's You're super welcome. fun. Anything it's it's you. always an absolute pleasure. Like it, it is. It's like it's not every day you get to speak to your idols, but but here we are. So because it is true. Can, I'm glad I could make your day too. You you always do. <laughs> well, you always make my day. Good, good. This is like a this is like a Saturday morning uh, or after school special. Right yeah. Here. And then they all lived happily ever after. Oh, right, the Felsen system. Thoris, how far does this um, does this demo go to? Do you know? Do you oh, know what apparently the... you can't clip through walls in this build. Oh, really? With the turret and the decoy. Huh, apparently. interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. That, that, well, this cutscene is just black. Oh. Oh, yeah, the game just crashed. The game just crashed. That's, Did you try uh, pressing all the skippy buttons? I, uh, mm, that that that's super gone. Um, okay. Let's uh, mm. That that certainly did die. Um, give me a sec. Let me get that back. Um. All right. I'm just gonna take a uh, quick break. I'll be right back. Okay. Um. What am I looking for here? Why can it not find what I'm after? So that's that. And then... That's interesting. I wonder why I can't find it. Right, if I close that off, give me a sec. Just gotta bring it back and... Do all that jazz. When was the last time? Oh, did I not save at all during that? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's also going to be super loud. That's right. That's right, yes. Um. I'm just trying to work out what I have to do here. Um. The beta auto saves. Oh, does it? Oh, oh, you legend, you legend. Yes, good. Thank you for telling me that. That's good news. I don't know why auto save just didn't occur to me for for a moment. Like it didn't occur to me that that would be a thing. But lo and behold, there we go. Why can it not find it now? Like, it can't find it at all. Like, I go to properties and it just cannot find it. That's so fucking weird. Okay, what if I delete the window capture and retry and add it? Window capture, da 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 da. Then you wanna do that one, then you wanna. No. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing! Thank you so much. I could not tell you why this isn't working though. Like, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to do a monitor capture because that's completely uh, <laughs> that's like not it just can't detect it in any way, shape, or form. I don't know why. Um, so let me just uh make the screen where I make the screen where I make the screen. Where I make the screen. Okay, we're done with that. I have made the screen. I have made the screen. <clears throat> okay. Let let's play the game. How annoying can I actually be? Very actually. Just give me a minute. Okay, come on. You you can do it. You can do it. We we we, we nailed it. There you go. Whoa. It's good enough. <laughs> It'll do. Okay, no, it won't. That grey is going to really annoy me. The tiny grey speck of life. There we go. Grey speck of life has been moved. There we go. Problem solved. How do you solve a problem like Maria? There. Done. Okay. To the load game. Um. Oh, now I need to do that. 
Uh, share screen, do this, and then the. the, the Oh, it's loaded now. There you go. We did it! Hooray! From solved. Nailed it. <laughs> Huzzah! Good, we have a thing! Anyway, uh, thank you very much, Chris, for, for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot. Oh, right, yeah, it's also super loud. That's right. Problem solved. Yes! We did it. 35 ships? That is very different. And also super bloody laggy. This entire area is different. Wow, this is laggy. No, but really, this entire area is different. There are not this many boulders. And there are not 35 ships. There are 20. I think. That's very interesting. Whoa. Wow, but that boost is ridiculous. That's interesting, but this is so different. Do they just cram both waves into one? Is that why? I'm really hoping that's the reason. Also, oh my god. I'm really hoping that is the reason. God, there's so many of them. All at once. I want a panda. I don't know why I said that. Uh, <laughs> Do you know why I said that? Oh, man! <laughs> Oh, it's so tasty. All the lag. Mm. Mm, it's so good. Mm. There are still two waves. Well then. Interesting. Why are there so many ships? That's ridiculous. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. The plus side, the music is really good still, so... <laughs> there is that. I'm really hoping, like, all of them crash into a boulder at the beginning of Wave 2. Because I've seen that happen. I've seen, like, ten of them crash into stuff before. When I did the Wrench Only run, someone suggested that what I should do is, um... Is I should try and let them all crash into stuff. I was just like, fuck off. Were you mad? There is no way that's happening. Like, no one is going to be able to do that. There's not a chance. Wow. I'm back. Hello. Can you hear yourself echoing, or are you... I can't yet, no. I have a cat rubbing on the computer, so that may make some noise. Ah, uh, fair enough. Hello, cat. His name is Gorilla. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Gorilla. Oh, man, the lag is great. Yes, yeah, so uh, this, this is interesting, uh, this mission. It lags apparently quite badly on a real PS2. Um... Uh, on the beta, that is. Um, final version? Uh, no, not in the final version. On, on this beta, if you put it on a real PS2, it actually lags really badly. Well, how do you do that? Um, I think someone put it to a disc. There are ways, I have no idea how it's done. Um, but also, interestingly, originally, in Wave 1 of this... Oh, God! In Wave 1 and 2, there were only 20 ships, and this one, there's 35. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I think these things... Uh... We, we put them in user testing, and we just found out they were too long, so we shortened them up. I think that was probably a good call. Yeah, it, it most certainly was. There's a, there's a certain point, like... So, like, you can you can be playing a game, and it can be difficult because it's requiring a, 
a new skill or for you to be better at a skill, right? Like that's one way it can be difficult. And then there's like the, you just have to do it more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like it's difficult because you have to do it right a lot of times. And uh, I'm more of a fan of the, it should be difficult because of the, you know, requiring you to be better at a skill or to learn a new skill than to be hard because you have to do it a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, yeah, it, it is way longer here <laughs> than the original. Better humble. Oh, see you, humble. Have a nice day. If you're still feeling ill, feel better soon. Oh, actually, humble. If you're still there, I did turret mission first time, but not on hero mode. I'm not trying to brag or anything. Just for attack you. <laughs> There's a mission in Jack 2, which on hero mode is beyond unfair, and Humble was streaming it a couple of months ago, and he was stuck on it for seven hours. Oh, man. And still didn't beat it. He will tackle it someday over the Christmas period, but g g good luck to him. No, no, I didn't do it on hero, not yet. I'm not there yet. But when I get to hero mode, I fully expect to fail miserably. Oh, by the way, you're only like halfway through the game. <laughs> I thought you were further along. Man, there's still 16 ships left. Yeah, I know. It's really long, and it lags. This is brutal. It's like it's not particularly hard. It's just long. Foss has a question for you. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, go for it. I don't. I don't care. Uh, it's not my beta. I just, <laughs> you, you gave me the beta. So did you notice anything different uh, while I was gone? Uh, yeah, apart from the ships remaining and there are more boulders in front of you at the beginning of this ship section, not really. Yeah, these got tweaked a lot. Uh, I mean, it's kind of amazing that, that we were able to do these at all because we, we only had two programmers working on it. And it's essentially an entirely different game. Mm. Like, nothing about, like, if you think of everything that you do in Ratchet & Clank that isn't space combat, that none of that code is running right now. Yeah. Right? This is essentially a completely different game. Yeah, it is a lot of work. Yeah, made in the... Just basically made with the same tools, the same engine. Uh, so I, it was an engine I... that wasn't made... Oh, wow, that's creepy. I'm inside the moon. <laughs> it was an engine that wasn't made to make a space shooter. It was made to make a platformer. Right? So it... It took two people, mo like, I don't know, nine months out of the whole development to make these things. And that's, like, that's really... Because if you think you could have had those people making single-player levels that were, you know, more ratchet levels, right? You yeah. could have made a lot more than just, say, the three space combats. So it's kind of an expensive feature. Yeah, of course. So it's a miracle that they got done to this level of quality. Mm. Uh, and it was really up to the gun when, you know, we were, um, did I say up to the gun? Yes. Basically, it was at the last minute Yeah. Uh, that we, we, were, we were still tuning these things. So even at this point, yeah. Oh, the quark, the quark channels, that's right. I like how Ratchet was like, oh yeah, must see more Quark. Oh, they haven't even impl implemented it. Nope. Huh. That's not surprising. Yeah, all the movies didn't have to be in. But yeah. the ones that were in had to be in the right order. Huh. Interesting. Wow, that was a really quick loading time. Well, you don't have to look on a disc. I suppose. <clears throat> Remember, the system was optimized <laughs> because we knew that the stuff at the center of the disc would load faster than stuff on the edge of the disc. That joke is amazing. <coughs> Which joke? Um, Clank says, we always seem to be one step behind. Why is that? And Ratchet and Clank both stare towards the camera. Yeah, yeah that's a good joke. That is great. <laughs> I, I, I remember, like, not getting that 
for the longest time. I think it might have even been the wrench only run when I first got that joke. It was pretty meta. It, it's so good. <laughs> That's a fantastic joke. Shall I see if the uh, uh, the hollow... What the hell is it called? Um, nanotech upgrade. See if that thing's still there. Oh yeah, it probably is. I don't know why I was thinking yeah, hollow guys. Was way before this build, I think. I'm not gonna fight any of the enemies because this isn't the main route, and I also don't care. But uh, <laughs> but I was. Oh, actually, that said, that said. Oh, I didn't get any ammo. No, never mind. Like I say, this could be a very easy way to test out skill points. Because it's an easy skill point by destroying the planet, but also. I don't want to die because I have no ammo, so never mind. I think the shade of green on these like glass panels are different. The uh, the bright green ones. I might be wrong. What was the question? Oh, it wasn't really a question. It was just more. I, I think the the shade of green is slightly different on some of these yeah. panels. Well, mm -hmm. the if you look at it, the uh, sorting isn't working right either. So the, the enemies don't look like they're behind the glass. Yeah, yeah, glass I see what you mean. Behind them. So, yeah. yeah. Tony mentioned when we did our developer commentary videos that this level, had a, they had a huge problem with those windows because of the transparency sorting and all the different effects and stuff. So, mm. yeah. That's apparently very difficult to do, figure out what, what order things go in when something is in front of you but doesn't block you. Interesting. Different looking nano. Oh, it's in the ground. Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah, I couldn't see that at all, but uh, yes, I see it now. Yeah, right, you are. I wouldn't have noticed that, honestly. It was really kind of hard to tell, but yeah. Cool. I love this level, man. This, this it is a good level. In this, in this game, this was probably my favorite level. Uh, it was one of the really early levels sort of nailed it for this game. Mm. It is a good level. And I'm not saying that it wasn't one of my levels. I'm not just claiming that my stuff was the best, because until you get to the end of the game, most of the stuff I worked on is cringeworthy. Well, so was, was this one of yours, or no? Uh, Tony did this level. Okay. Um, was that your question? Y yeah, pretty much. But yeah, no, it's a really good level. I like it. Yeah, it's just, it's beautiful level, too. Yeah, it, it, it is. It holds up artistically, I think. Uh, yeah, the, the, the factory over there is gorgeous as well. Like, it's, it's just such a looming sort of threat, I guess. <laughs> and if it wasn't, if it wasn't running at two seconds per frame, <laughs> it would be you, even, it would be incredible. I'm sure it would. <laughs> you, you can see the level properly in my red journey, <laughs> This is, could be yet another chance to remind people that Peel needs a new computer. Yes, I, I apparently do. And I, for real, realsies though, in recordings is actually a problem now. Um, I've had recordings corrupt and my audio just cut out at times. I have no yeah. idea why. Besides, I need a new computer. <laughs> it's, it's really annoying. I would like for it not to do that. It's th it's good that it's it ended up slow on the emulator because it it fits with the theme of the broadcast, which is please help Teal. <laughs> it's going so slow. Yes, it, it fits with the theme of yeah. I, I'm not begging, but I'm entirely begging. <laughs> <laughs> yes, donate all the bits to save Teal's PC. You should have you know two categories and people can vote to kill your PC or save your PC. Yeah, and you have to vote by donating a hundred bits. <laughs> however many bits. Yeah, however many. One hundred, one hundred and fifty thousand, whichever you want to do, it's fine. No, you, you vote on the ending you want with bits. See? Yeah, exactly. But it's a minimal... Oh, actually, are these darker? They are darker, they're greyer. The chicken, the chicken bots? I like yeah. them like that. I did too. They're really cool looking like that. I think they're light grey in the final. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I know they changed, but I, I liked them back when they were dark grey like that. Yeah, they look rad. 
I think they probably don't stand out enough for gameplay, but they're really cool. Yeah, I guess. No, that's really cool. I, I'm so glad that I've seen that. This is, I, I, I bloody love this stuff. It makes me so happy. It's bringing a mild tear to my eye. I, I say that jokingly, but actually there, there's a little... <laughs> It was a beautiful chicken ball, what can I say? <laughs> I'm really good at dodging these enemies, I've hit every single one of them. It's like you've played this game once or twice. Yeah, yeah, just a couple of times, I mean, it's no big deal. Have we ever commented on this game together before? What, me and you? Yeah. Yes, Venture Only, we did the crystal grinding. Right, okay. So yeah, I we have we have done every Ratchet game together at some point, uh, with the exception of Quest for Booty. Um, I think we did some of Quest for Booty. Did we? I don't think we did because it was such a short game. I did it in one se session, in like two hours. I'm sure someone can look it up and figure it out. I'm pretty sure that's the only one we didn't, because every other we did, because we. Because Ratchet 1, we... Oh, uh, AVG Antivirus says that uh, this emulator is clean. Y you're damn right it is. <laughs> um, the uh, Yeah, with Ratchet 1, we did the Drek battle together. Because it was post-commentary. This, it was crystal fa farming. Ratchet 3, it was, it was sewer crystal I farming. Those, I love those breakable drum cylinder things. Like, yeah. Those are my, favorite, my favorite breakables in this whole level. Yeah, they're nice. Like, that was just... I think Tony was just showing off. <laughs> he well, if you, it's, it's, it looks good. So... Man, those elevators don't wait for you at all. Oh. Oh, interesting. The Slim Cognito uh, trigger is, di is a different position. And Slim Cognito isn't here, right? Uh, no, it's a different planet. But Slim Cognito, I believe, is on the other side of this platform. Behind this ship. In in the final version. So it's interesting that they... It was moved. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've joined me for every Ratchet game. Besides... Quest for Booty and... Um, I guess also Nexus. Actually, wait, oh, oh, did you? Oh, we did Nexus. It might did have been a stream. I don't remember. It might have been a stream. I don't know if... Because I haven't done it wrench only, so... That is, I guess, like... Besides Deadlocked, if I do decide to do that, I think next. Yeah, Nexus would be the last one that isn't like a multiplayer game. I don't think you've done Nexus wrench only. No, I haven't. That's... Yeah, it's Deadlocked, Nexus... Uh, all for one and quest for booty. Not quest for booty. Um, full friends of assault. So yeah, good times. PC is just dying. Just yeah. It's. I mean, like it's. I I still maintain that my computer is doing so well given the circumstances. It's five years old. It, like, renders, uh, streams, records, edits, consistently, and has done consistently, like, every day for five years. It's pretty impressive that it's lasted this long at all. It's a lot of strain for a computer that's not necessarily completely designed for that. Like, it's not like the ultimate computer or anything. It's, it's got really good components, sure, but it's not a perfect one. And the one I've like like chosen or the the bits I'm gonna get for the next one is pretty much like a like with like a couple of components like basically the same sort of thing but a couple of components just slightly improved like that it'll improve performance massively like it's a better fan and stuff like that kind of thing. Yeah, it was Idle Mind who uh, did the remaster. I think for the uh... Ratchet looks really uncomfortable when he shoots that thing. Yeah. 
I think it's slower in this version. Everything's slower in this version. Too. Well, I mean, no, but what I mean is, like, the amount of that are coming out, I think the, the bar isn't going up. That was at a normal frame rate when the, the bar was going up and down. So, I don't know. Okay, so you, you said you think these feel faster? Uh, this one doesn't. The one on the on the uh, jamming array definitely was. It was super fast. Don't know why that yeah, one was. Been, those would have been different. This one, this one also would have been done early. This was one of the first three levels we did. Oh, okay. And it came out really well. Hmm. Okay, no, never mind. This is going quite quickly compared to the last one. I don't know. What do I know? Yeah, so this level should be virtually the same, presumably, because it was one of the earlier ones. The same people who made Ratchet and Clank HD also made Life is Strange before the storm. Did they? Idle Minds made Life is Strange? Really? Huh, interesting. What was Life is Strange? Life is Strange is the... Like, uh... uh is, is... God, I can't even think... Like, adventure game, story-driven story game about the uh, the girl who can time travel, or like rewind time more specifically, um, and it's hella rad. Okay. They say hella a lot. Life is strange. Uh, yeah, you, you'd probably know it if you saw it. You've probably at least seen it. It's actually a very good game, but it's like totally cringeworthy at times. But it's it's a good fun. This level is really cool. Mm. Like, it, just if you look up at the ceiling, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff up there. Like, someone yeah. spent a lot of time on this level. Yeah. It's going to go mostly unappreciated. Well, you know, it's, I, I think you notice it subliminally, right? It yeah, yeah, of course. If you understand where you are, you're in, inside this giant pumping facility, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, you mentioned it in the past. Like, you the little things are some of the most important because if it's yeah. not there it's like something is missing and you don't really know what it is yeah it's it's uh it's something that maybe another developer might get but that most players you expect them not to notice it and that's why it's good mm -hmm. oh did you just freeze it all the way no down? i didn't i i just sort of stopped it cuz the delay in the uh <laughs> With the lag and stuff, so I was just like, nope, I'm just gonna make sure I, uh, very this level careful. Was designed by Mark Cerny. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. He also designed the hydro display in the first game. Oh, sweet. I like the hydro display, sir. This is actually gonna be really hard to time with the lag. Oh, oh! That's just about as bad as it could be. Man. God, this is gonna really suck. This is but gonna when, you know, really when it sucks. Is when it you, it's the most fun to watch because you're suffering. Yes, but I, you know how you said before, it's as bad as it can get. I think you were wrong. <laughs> I think, I think that right there. That centimeter of like gap is actually. <laughs> we added a we added a safety mechanism in here for if you got it when it was almost there, it would just sort of autocorrect. Yes, I, I have seen this. this version. So I think this is actually harder than it skipped. For oh, good. Now, please, please, God, please, thank that should be enough. This is needlessly difficult because of the lag. <laughs> yeah, that's that. We got that. Yeah. This actually has quite a bit of leeway, I think. So. Oh, man. Right. I 
I think there's one other difficult one like this. There we go. So, if I'm not wrong, I think there's only one more planet after this. I think it's the thief, and then the uh, the desert won't load, I don't think. Yeah, that would make sense if this was a preview build. They don't give... Because this is a build that would have gone out to journalists. Yeah. So they wouldn't have had the whole game on it because... It was just for a preview, not for a review. Yeah. And this was alpha, around alpha time, so... Seems about right for what I'm looking at in this build. Oh, that might have worked well. Because for anyone who doesn't know how it works, um, when you're making a game, there's certain milestones that you... Oh! Oh, that moved! That scared the hell out of me! That, that, like, it breathed. I didn't like it. It was a it was a level level of detail. No, no. Oh, you're like a centimeter off. <laughs> oh, it continue. Sorry. What was I saying? Uh, alpha, beta stuff. I think. Oh yeah, so when you're making a game, uh, there's always these milestones uh, that you're, you're turning in. It's sort of like when you get paid, but also it, it represents like a big step in the game's development. And uh, one of the most important is when the game gets to alpha state, which means that all the features are basically in, but uh, you know sometimes the replayability features aren't, or you know it doesn't have the final boss battle, or you know, it, it's it's basically all there when you get to alpha, and then when you get to beta, everything that's in, everything that is going to be in the game be in the game, and the only difference between beta and gold is that all the bugs from beta get fixed before it gets shipped. So alpha, beta, and gold, a, a lot of what people see happens at the beta stage. This is at the alpha stage, so it's even less complete than normal. I'm going to wait until... How did... Uh, Luminate Gamer wants to know how we manage difficulty spikes. Uh, in this game, there was some auto-tuning that would happen that would help with the difficulty spikes. Uh, so, like, um, depending on how long it took you to play a segment, future segments that you haven't seen yet, we would add or subtract enemies based on whether we needed the game to be... <gasps> Ouch. Why?! <laughs> Yeah, man, this is this is before some of the friendliness went in. This is way easier on the final version. Yeah, oh well. But yeah, difficulty spikes. So basically, we would time how long you went through here, and then if, if you were going through faster than we thought, so if you were doing, if, like, if it was too easy for you, later setups would be tuned to be harder. And then uh, if, if you were struggling with it, meaning it was too hard, later stuff would be made easier. So it ended up keeping the difficulty within good, like, sort of a good range most of the time. And then when we wanted to spike the difficulty, like when you get to the bridge level in this game, uh, we would just, you know, add more enemies, do a whole lot of sort of stuff. So it, it was uh, it was difficult to figure it out, but it was, uh, wasn't difficult to, oh dude, I, I don't think you made it. No, I, I'll check anyway, but I, I don't think I'd... it's so hard to time. Yes, I wonder so... how many times in Wrench Only I made it harder for myself by actually playing well. Oh, oh this sucks. Oh. oh, is there a way to just make this easier? Um, yeah, I wonder how many times I just did like really, really well early Wrench Only and just made the game brutally unfair near the end <laughs> because I was doing well. I'm pretty sure we used this build as a, a user test build. So you're sort of getting to feel how a user tester would feel on the game. 
Huh. User testing is when we bring we bring strangers in to play the game and tell us what they think about. It. Yeah, this is a uh, that. Yeah, I, I'm I'm feeling the the pain and suffering of. <laughs> so we would see something like this. We'd see this a playthrough like this, and we'd say, okay, we need to do something about this rising water challenge because we didn't want it to be this hard. So between then. Oh, and the it's final, too low, isn't it? Ah. Uh, uh, Crouch, crouch, crouch. No, nah, I'd never make it through. Oh god. If I if I did I'd get stuck. Yeah, I remember this happening in user and so in the final version there's some auto snapping so that if you get it around the right area Yeah. It just slides into place. Huh. Yeah, it's amazing. When you when you play this you don't think you just think you're a god, but no. <laughs> that that's not how it works. See, we want it to be difficult, but we only want it to be so frustrating. You know yeah. I mean? Like, um, it's like we were talking about earlier, right? There's two kinds of difficulty. There's difficulty because it requires you to have more skill or a new skill. And then there's difficulty because it requires you to do the same thing a bunch of times. And what you're doing here is the same thing a bunch of times. Is it enough? It might just oh, be enough. Crouch, crouch. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to save, because if I crouch and I get stuck, I will be very, very sad. But you never know. It might work. It might just work. I have a feeling I'm going to get stuck, and I'm going to go all the way over and get stuck in the middle. But let's find out. You get to crouch. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm very much in the... Uh, See? It might just work. Yeah, man. This is how we got people through the user test. Oh, but... Oh, no. No, it's fine. This oh. is why I made a save state. We we good. We got this. Don't you worry. Oh, okay. So I can move backwards, but I can't move forwards. Try crouching at the end there, too. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to... Come on. You can do this, Ratchet. It's what you were made for, I think. Come on, you can do this. Come on, we got this. It's really hard to time. I don't want to do this anymore. I I physically hate this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome to the life of a user tester. I I understand. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, don't you feel like a god now, though? I do, I do, because I did it the legit way, the ultimate, hardest po possible way. Oh, my god. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> I never Look. understood these guys. Yeah. Oh, I hope the uh, thief cutscene is there. Oh, don't you have to pay them, like, a million bolts? So. Mm. Is this where he says even the computers are charging us now? Galaxy no, Wars. I think that's on the planet where you get the flying thing. The, uh, where you find the place to get to the Megacorp games. It's like the other city level. So how many, um... How many more, uh levels are left. I think just oh, one. One? Right, because so. when it tries to load into the desert, that's it. Yeah. That, that is some image that you edited there. Did you see the you as Mario? Yes, I have. Yeah, that is... <laughs> that is quite spectacular. I'm going to be haunted by that for a while. It, it's a good image of me. It's taken from my well done video where there's three versions of me clapping. It's It literally is just called well done. And if you've done anything good in your day, even if it's just get up and go for a walk, three teals can clap at you, applaud you for the marvellous work you've done today. 
The desert is on the disc. Oh, okay. You you just how far into the desert can you get? Oh, it has some sweet differences. Yeah, it? I'm I'm looking forward to that. Right. Oh, wait. Let's check out Slim Cognito first. See if that's any different. It's a trap, Teal. Don't do it. No, it's Slim Cognito. I hope you got a, a backup save. I I do. Before the ice. <laughs> Interesting. It puts me like in the corner of the room. Also, there's a vendor. There wasn't a vendor. Wait, you buy the stuff at the vendor? Yeah. You don't buy it at the. Oh, so it's not set up at the uh, the terminal at the moment. Just like the other one wasn't, yeah. Yeah, ah, interesting. Okay. It seems to all be the same amount, apart from the standard missile launcher. Wait, you could buy missile launcher ammo? That's a new thing. Because oh, yeah, you, you just get given. Ma about you just get given max ammo when you start a mission, usually, so. Wait, where was that? Since Siberia, Wait, this is let me out. check something. Interesting, yeah, the first image of that is the uh, the tutorial level. I wonder if Snowdan is in place in Siberius. Oh, yeah, I can certainly check. He might not be. And I can think of a few other things that might be different, like the, the Platinum Vault location. Uh, well, we can certainly test it. Let's find out. Uh, any new weapons? No, not really. Alright then. Cool, good to go. Let, oh, there we go. Let's let's do this. Let's bring out the blitz gun and just have some fun. I love the blitz gun. There's some good weapons in this game. I'll try and like, haha, <laughs> pun, blitz through these. No, but really, I'll try and just get through these quickly, because I don't know what's new and stuff. I think Dan was there, but my nanotech upgrade killed him. Aww. So, I didn't get a skill point, though, because there isn't even like a secrets menu, so. Oh, now there's a cart version of you, to, uh, Teal. There's, oh, yes, I've seen the Mario Kart one. Yeah, so the skill points aren't implemented. I think that's Dan that's might that's have that's been. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. The, uh... The tractor beam... Uh... Platform here... Wasn't this a mandatory one, movement thing. Oh. This is one of, the, one of yeah. the things I thought might be different. Yeah. that that I don't think you can solve that now without... Dying and trying again. Yeah, yeah. In the original, it wasn't, um, it wasn't in the way, and also I don't think it could actually fall off platforms. I think it was locked on. So that's interesting. But I like it. It's interesting. I, I. Game is anything so slow. Anything Everybody that's different, I appreciate. Make sure they know the game is not actually. Yeah, no. The, for the most part, this is not the game. <laughs> what do you mean, for the most part? Well, the apparently the the ship mission was super laggy on uh, it, when you run it on disc. So that that was that the was. Final version. In the water. In the final version? No, in in this version, if you place it on a disc. Yeah. So. I was still working on frame rate at this point. Yeah. I'll take more blitz gun. Yoink! All right, let's go. Boss time. Is it any different? Let's find out. I always really liked this boss. Feel as a mantis is kind of creepy. I vaguely remember that one. <laughs> it's just your tiny little head on top of a giant mantis body. Oh, yes, that's Domino, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at this again. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty good. 
It's a pretty good one. Why am I a mantis? It was a what? reference Chessy made. Um, he called me a mantis at one point. I can't remember why. But I, I think he said I looked like one. But I, again, I don't recall why. So Luminant Gamer asked, how do we manage weapons in Ratchet, Ratchet games when we're making them? Uh, I never actually worked on the weapons uh, besides doing early brainstorming stuff. So uh, generally we had a programmer, at least one programmer, maybe two programmers. Uh, so all of the effects were done by the programmers. Uh, all of the, you know, basically everything that you see there except for the gun model is done by programmers. Uh, so people just try, you know, uh, designers come up with ideas for weapons, prototype them out. We make more than we need and then cut the ones that don't work for the game. Then we figure out which ones are the best and try to ramp up to those. Shit. Wow, I don't know if, if you can beat that part. Uh, I think I was just supposed to wait for it to open, and I didn't realize that. I think that's what went wrong. But, oh well. Well, we'll, we'll get back. We'll, we'll get back there. It's all good. The blitz gun is about to evolve, so it's all good. Now it's teal on Bald Mountain. Oh yeah, because teal bald. Yes. Yeah, that also was uh, that music played in Nexus uh, when you used the rhino. Just for you, teal. So it was uh, it was especially fitting. That was clearly a reference to you. Yeah, yeah. Before they they foresaw that I would be the wrench master. Yep. We have AIs that are training themselves on YouTubers to find out who the next big thing will be. Whoa! Whoa! That launched me! What just happened? I, like, upgraded the Blitz gun and it just launched me forward. It was pretty good. Wow. I think it's because the world is moving. Oh, the So I sort of moved are... with it. But the, weapon, it... the weapon effects aren't synced yet. Like, they're, they're moving backwards. Because... Oh, yeah, so they are. Yeah, because moving the, this train is actually moving through a level. Yeah. As opposed to having the level move backwards. Is it just an infinite loop? It's on an infinite loop, yeah, like a figure 89. Yeah. I figured that would be the case. Yeah, I see what you mean now about the uh, moving backwards. That's kind of interesting. So as soon as you shoot, all the effects start moving backwards. Yeah. Because you're moving. How hard is that to, like, fix? That was such a pain in the ass. Like, the weapons all had to be specially programmed to handle this circumstance. Right. So every weapon that Ratchet can fire and all of these enemies do understand... That, what oh, man. Control. That means literally every weapon. Because... And every mode. effect had to remember what the train... How the train... Is moving so that uh, that sounds yeah. awful. It it was pretty awful. Uh, yeah, it wasn't my it wasn't my work, but I remember it being very difficult. A lot of pain for some programmers. Yeah. There we go. Phase two. Is this getting uploaded to YouTube? I can certainly upload it. Yeah. Uh, I can upload it a big old thing. I don't see why not. Alright, let's upgrade the gravity bomb as well while we're at it. It's really close to upgrading. It's done! There we go. <laughs> done! Right there! Gravity bomb. I want to see what this effect looks like. It's the Good. mini nuke. It is still, it looks like a nuke. Looks good. It, it does. It does look really good. good looking gun. I was so impressed by that effect. That mm. was a really good effect. That was uh, Eric Christensen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, from what I remember, to make that effect look that good, he had to actually write 
that effect in assembly language. And PlayStation has its own assembly language, so he had to learn this thing in order to write it. Oh, wow. Huh. That is a lot of work. Yep. Just for you, Teal. Yeah. J just for everyone who all, wants to appreciate a good old nuke. all the fans. Man, Angela, I can't believe she has such a boneheaded plan. I'm going to tie it to a giant rocket and set it off like a supervillain? Seriously? Yeah. You don't really think about it, actually, do you? You, you, could, you could just, I don't know, kill it, stab it, shoot it, I don't know, you've got many weapons. The thing with ratchet villains, or even assumed villains, is that they have to be crazy person trying to use a wacky machine to take over the entire galaxy or universe. Yeah. Like that's, once you've got that formula, then you are a ratchet. I mean, Angela could just hit it with the wrench. That's, that's what the like go-to strategy that. is. That's what they do. It's gotta be done at some point. No, come on, bring it. Blitz cannon, there we go. There's the one where it does supreme damage. Nanotech upgrade. Is it just me or is this doing nothing to her? Okay, there we go. Interesting, she's too far away for me to actually be able to hit her. There we go. Big three is mine. Wow, what was that? <laughs> that? That looked awful. It was just a red triangle. I missed it. Look look back at the stream. You might have missed it again. It's when what did you do? It was basically he basically shoots like the ropes on the rocket to let the protopet come free, but it was just a red triangle. <laughs> it was really weird, but like not even a good red triangle. <laughs> Prototype effect. It was quite interesting. I'm gonna save just in case something happens. Oh, imagine, oh, imagine if Lombaxes just had different equipment, like pliers, and... Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. That would be amazing. That should totally happen. Interesting, that cutscene just ended early. I didn't touch anything. That would be really cool. I would be very on board with, like, uh, Azimuth just wielding a bunch of pliers. <laughs> just has, like, a circuit tester. Yeah. Sonic screwdriver. Oh no, our ship's destroyed. Could it be that Fist Widget is actually not. Where's Ratchet's feet? Why would Ratchet have feet? They're gone. They are definitely gone. <laughs> wow, that transition. There, there's some spectacular cutscene things in in this world. Was this one of the last worlds, by any chance? That was done. Yeah. Um, I think it was done in the middle sometime. Okay. Because this this one had to be done before we could have uh, an early milestone, because uh, we needed to have one mining, and then one 
I think like the Maktar Resort and then one regular like normal level. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. For our, our first playable. I forgot you can get the bouncer now. It's a shame I don't have any money and it's a hundred grand, but apart from that, I forgot you could get. Oh, and you can. Oh, I don't have enough for the lava gun, god damn it. That's a shame. That is a shame. Oh well. I'll live. I'll just blitz them all, it's all good. I think this area is a little different. Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you again. Bless you a third time. Thank you. Yeah, I think this level's a tiny bit different. I think the like parts of that area that's like pillars connecting to the top. I don't think they were there in the original. I might be wrong. In the original, huh? In the final version. I keep saying, I keep saying <laughs> it's, it's my original. <laughs> I know. I just, I, I am amused every time I hear it, so I have to let you know. <laughs> what was that eyeball thing that you just shot? Uh, I think it was the thing that pumps out more of them. Oh, okay. I don't think it's actually an eyeball, but it sort of does look a little bit like it. I can see where you're coming from. Oh, like the, it, it, like the little flesh part look. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is a good point. It does give you less bolts in this build. You're right. That's why I have no money. Oh yeah, that tuning probably wouldn't have been dialed in. That does so make sense. Somebody's first guess. Oh, was it um, use rock to break glass to smash rock or whatever? I love logic Ooh, puzzles. I love logic puzzles. Solved it. Wrenchmaster over here. Oh, and there's a vendor. Sweet. That case. Holy shit! <laughs> Wow! Yeah, that's that's a lot fancy. That's but, like, fancy yeah. as hell. Yeah, I think somebody asked for a, <laughs> a case for the wrench and got something really fancy, and they're like, that's not exactly what... Yeah, oh, I, I, I wish it was there outside of the cutscene, because I would love to look at it and appreciate it. Because holy hell, that is so different. That's hilarious. I was not prepared for that. That was great. More that. Oh, wow. <laughs> that might be my favorite change so far. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared for the fanciness of that case. <laughs> you could hide a trophy in that. That's amazing. I think that was the miscommunication, right? Yeah. I think Tony might have even mentioned that in uh, the developer. Possibly, I don't really remember it, but. I think remember that a little bit, yeah. But, I mean, if he did, it wouldn't have like. You can't really imagine just how fat. The only thing it was missing was lined with gold. <laughs> it's pretty good looking. Man, there's a lot of these guys too. I think that's actually the same as the original, to be honest. There might be one or two more, but there are quite a few in the original as well. The final build, I mean... <laughs> I, will, I will always say original. I understand. J just to annoy, no. J just, because, you. just because I'm really that stupid. The excitement yeah. over the case is real. Yeah, because it's really fancy. You don't understand. It's a good looking case. It's just kind of, it's funny how uh, communication can sometimes work. Be like, yeah, we need a case for the wrench, right? And you're thinking like a small little breaking case of emergency case. Yeah. And somebody else says, oh, a case, like a trophy case. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, wait, we need to have a meeting. Oh, man, that could be like a meme. Like, just replace something with an extremely more fancy version. <laughs> Oh, not a meme, a meeting, but yeah. No, that's what someone said in the chat. Possible meme.
Could totally be a meme. <laughs> oh, hello, Angela. Yes. Set. Where's your tail, Angela? Where is it? <laughs> Oh no, no. Oh, that's a different Megacorp logo. Interesting. Yeah, you're right, it's you versus the guy she told you not to worry about! It totally is! What? You know the you versus the guy she told you not to worry about, where it's like a version of it and then a superior version? That's totally what that is. Man, I need to get both screenshots and just compare. It's pretty good. I'm I'm totally gonna do that. I forgot how great the music is here. I'm behind on chat. The crystal guy. The crystals of the van. Oh. Oh man. The crystals are an illusion. Oh, he's in the floor. Yeah. Somebody goofed. How easy would it be to fix that? Is it just dragging him up or something? Or... It it uh, it depends on what's causing it. Is right. The not satisfying answer to your question. Right. Okay. No, I was like, I didn't know if it's just like changing the coordinates a little bit. But... This is an oh, there's two of them. Sweet. Yeah. So they they didn't delete the the version of him that's just standing there in the level. Yeah. And if it was happening on this version of him, then it probably means the animator had change the animation. It's interesting to be standing in a different position though. And that's harder than just, you know, going into Maya and dragging him up a few, you know, a meter or so. I mean it does look pretty destroyed. I can't can't deny. So let's get some crystals. And apparently there are interesting differences. So is it is uh, oh oh well you get nanotech for a start from from the crystals which well, is different. Do you have the magnet boots? Uh, yes, that should be the raritanium drill. No, there's a... Oh, no, yeah. I don't. No, I don't. You get that later. Later in this level? No, I don't remember where you get them. It might be Mega Corp Games, actually. Surprised I didn't spawn at the wrong checkpoint. Oh, okay. Was I supposed to? Or... <laughs> So is the uh, is the differences gonna be very obvious? And is it in the desert? You know, the desert. I don't know. Oh, my nanotech just upgraded. I can say I, just, I looked away and there was just a flash of white, and I was like, "Whoa, what happened?" Let Let's kill some giant sand thing. I killed a giant sand thing. It gave me crystal. The main difference was the cave. What you mean the cave I just came through? You, you mean the uh, the the extraordinary trophy cabinet? Uh, the the cave that leads to the glider. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. I can check check that out. Because I've nearly got my ten crystals, so. I've only need to go. I've only need to got one. <laughs> that yeah, nothing wrong with that sentence. Somebody should cheat themselves gravity boots and go see if that vehicle that's on top of that gravity boot ramp is different than what's in the actual game. Uh yeah, I don't know if it's possible. It might be. Cheat yourself gravity boots? Yeah, you could probably with a cheating tool rather mm. than just add value and memory. Right. Oh, actually, I wonder if the uh, the guy is different, the mod guy. Oh, you meant the one with the trophy case, I see. Oh, his eyes are different, and also the camera is very wrong. Yeah, his eyes are, I think, white. Also, does anyone else find it kind of weird that dispensing? Oh, the mod. Interesting. The mods cost money in this version. 
What they cost oh. platinum bolts. Yeah, because we hadn't figured any of that out yet. Huh. Interesting. They're also ludicrously expensive. <laughs> that doesn't get figured out till beta. That's that's kind of funny because that is really expensive. Uh, I'm gonna save for now, um, and then we'll make our way down the other cave, and then we'll see if I can magically make the next level load by sheer will. Even though that's not gonna happen in any way, shape, or form. But uh, we'll give it a good old honest try. It's too bad that the debug commands weren't in this one. Yeah. That would, have, that would have been really neat. Yeah. Hopefully one day we'll find another beta. But for now, this has been an absolute pleasure to play again. And This is, was an alpha. Yeah. This was even earlier. Yeah, and also, you know, good to, good to spend time with you again. Yep, as always, it's good to be around. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy your company. Yay. I still think we should go back to the first Skylanders at some point. It'd be a bit of a pain to set up, but apart from that, it'd be really cool. Because it's been ages since I played. It's been, in fact, six years <laughs> since I played that game. You don't have the Wii version of it. You have the. I have the inferior, um, brutal version of it. You should get the Wii version. But I'd have to set up the Wii, and, like, my yeah. Wii's somewhere else. Yeah. I'd Isn't have to hilarious? buy the game again. Yes. But but I have the game. <laughs> but it's better, Teal, and you can see all the ways that it's better when you play it on Wii. But but you could we could play the PS3 version. You could tell me exactly why the it's three version. I didn't work on the. But you could tell me what's different about them. <laughs> Well, like, for example, Treasure falls off the world in the PS3. Yeah, that that's no fun. Yeah, it doesn't do that on the Wii. Oh, but, it, but it, I have to it, play with a Wii remote, and the Wii remote's it like not great ratchet. all the time. When bolts go off of a legend ratchet, you just get them. Yeah. That's how it is on the Wii. Ah. Was the, and I assume that's all you're doing. You even, you even mentioned it in your first Let's Play. That's oh, did I? And I was thinking, no, why'd you have to pick the PS3 version? I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't like... I chose better graphics for my shitty capture cards. <laughs> that they could not... Really good. Which could not they produce did. those graphics. They did a really good job with those ports, but uh, it was basically a complete remake of the game for Xbox and uh, PS3. Uh... The one, like, so they're basically two diff completely different code bases. Like, everything is from scratch different between the... So they just managed to make them feel no! really... Feel really similar. Oh, no. Completely different. Okay, we're good. You know what? I don't need to go that way. Screw it. I've stopped caring. <laughs> we'll just... We'll just leave. <laughs> Sadness. Here's your ten crystals. Okay. Let me let me see something. Let me go to Amazon. How how much is Skyland Dispose Adventure for the Wii? Let's find out. If it's they for you, I'll of, buy it. I can't imagine it's expensive. I mean, they made a ton of them. Wii. Oh man! How wrong you are. Seventy-four pounds. Is that a lot? I don't know what pounds mean. A hundred plus dollars. That's a kind of expensive. Yeah. Oh, are you buying the whole starter pack? Is that why? It's only the starter pack available. So it comes with the the wireless portal. Uh, it wasn't even. Uh, oh yes, it was wireless at that point. Yeah. Yeah, the original. God. Skylanders Giants nine eighty. No. Eighty pounds. No nine nine pounds eighty. So really cheap in comparison to the first game. Well, I did work on Skylanders Giants also, so we could play that one. And you already have that one. I mean, I technically already have the first one. <laughs> Just not the one you worked on specifically, the I same, guess. Man. The same. Also, I think Giants was probably the my, my favorite one in the whole series. Let's see. There is a used version for £16, which isn't that bad. 
It's around twenty-five dollars, probably. That's not that bad. That's all right. There's even one with free delivery. <laughs> They're all. There's one that's used that's very good. Could do that, I guess. Twenty pounds. But yeah, we we could do that sometime. That'd be really cool. Cause, cause yeah, I, 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 I don't remember much about giants. I can't remember what the levels were in Giants. Oh, it was the Archeans, wasn't it? Yeah, and the and the uh, bad guy was George Takei. And Chaos. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, yeah, that was that was a good game. And the the so, I think some of the Skylanders in that generation were my favorite. Made too. Yeah, I I like um, I can't even remember her name. Ninjini is her name. She was great. Yeah. Ninjini was great. Yeah, she was awesome. Well, let's see what Free, happens. Free Rex was one of my favorites, and he came in the starter. Yeah. I liked that when you, you when you went on a bounce pad, and he'd up, he'd bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> it's just like, oh, that's awesome. Like, they all had their own little personalities. Mm. Well, let's see why this doesn't load. I, I think I found... Yeah, I think I found out why. <laughs> Because it's frozen. It's <laughs> soft locked. There you go. There you go. The magic happened. Oh, so you found it for 99 cents. The problem is, it's 99 cents. What is? Um. Uh, someone's found uh, Spire's Adventure for the Wii. But it's an American version. The disc? Yeah, it's just the game. But it's an American version. It wouldn't work. Region locking. What's well, Luminous says Giants uh, was their first game, and that they actually absolutely love it. Oh, it's fantastic! Awesome. We should that's do that favorite, again. That's my favorite one to, that I work. It's like uh, that game and Ratchet Three are probably my favorite two games I've ever made. Mm. Just making those games was cool. Yeah, we should we should do it at some point. It'd be really good. It it'd be really fun to do. But, uh, yeah, I think we're done here. Cause, I guess so. I mean, because it sort of either died. Either your computer has reached new depths, or we're just staring at a frozen screen. Yeah, I, I think we're staring at a frozen screen. I, uh, I'm, I'm, put, I'm giving everything she, we got, Captain, but nothing, nothing's given. It's, okay, uh, I guess that uh, means it's time to say goodbye in the Mr. Rogers way. Yeah, it's, it's. It's been a good ride. I've really enjoyed playing this. Did you get Mr. Rogers over there? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? His kid's show? No, I'm not sure what that is. YouTube it. I, I shall. Seriously, it's it's awesome. It's like, Bob Ross awesome. Oh, okay. That's pretty awesome. But, right, uh, bye, everybody. But, yeah, thank, thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you. We had loads of views at one point. I, um, I think we had for, 60 at some point. Thank you for donating towards getting Teal a computer that will run a game at a decent speed. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, and uh, Ferris has um, linked the game if uh, if anyone wants to give it a try. Um, and uh, it'll probably yeah. look better on your computer because it'll run at a decent speed. Yeah, uh, you just need you should probably copy the link instead of just clicking it because mega links work weird on Twitch for some reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, thank you for all the followers. We gained, I think, like, 20-plus throughout that, oh, so that's cool. fantastic. And two subscriptions as well, so thank you. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a, uh, a fantastic day, and I will, uh, I might stream tomorrow, I think I might be. But, uh, but yes, goodbye, peoples.